And welcome, everyone, to another episode of Seraph Plays Battletech on this lovely Thursday night. Uh, I've got my windows open. Um, at least in Florida, it's pretty nice. I don't know about the rest of uh, I don't know about the rest of everybody, but um, but in any event, before we get started, just want to do the obligatory welcome and say hello to everybody. Uh, most will probably be watching this on YouTube, um, but. Uh, and that's that's awkward. <clears throat> Alexa, AC off. Figures I go live and now my AC turns on for the first time in like the entire night. Is it actually turning off? Good. Okay. I should probably check that in a second. No, it's not turning off. Damn it. <laughs> what terrible timing. All right. So. Let me get this rolling and then I'll go turn that off. I've, I've had the windows open for like an hour. I don't know, uh, I guess uh, this was just the perfect time. I, well, I know what happened. I turned the computer on to start streaming and that heated the thermostat up just outside just enough. I love doing this live. We just find all sorts of interesting ways to get things started off. But my buffoon rottery is your, ah, uh, good. It did turn off. Okay, it must've just had to complete one quick cycle. Uh, perfect. The beauties of a, an automated, play, the beauties of automation. I could just say, uh, blah, 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 turn off and we will be fixed. Okay, so without uh, that little distraction. <laughs> oh God, uh, this, this is gonna be a perp. You know, I should actually just clip this. The moment Seraph dies inside. But uh, so today we're going to play some more Battletech uh, because, uh, number one, it's fun. Uh, and I want to try to complete this game uh, before moving on to something else. Although I may start playing something else concurrently. We'll, we'll see. I might start playing Cyberpunk on, on Saturdays, maybe. But, but we'll see. Uh, for the moment, getting through Battletech is going to be my primary focus because I do want to complete this the campaign at the very minimum. And it would be nice to do some of the flashpoints later uh, if we get to that point. So that is the plan. So today's plan is we're going to do a couple of warm-ups, and then we are going to do what is kind of notoriously uh, known in the uh, community that plays this game, one of the first real difficulty spikes of the game. The Smith and Invasion mission can be very tricky, and we'll be going over that in more detail when we actually start doing it. And for YouTube, I'm going to put the chapter for Invasion Smith and on later so you can if that's all you're looking for, feel free to just skip ahead to that chapter mark and, and we'll go from there. But um, as far as all the other obligatory uh, business, feel free to do the old subscribe, like, if you ever want to watch live, feel free to cruise over to my Twitch channel. The description will be blah, blah. So without any further ado, let's get this party started and fire up the game. And hopefully this time it doesn't do what it did to us last time where I had to actually restart the computer because the actual Battletech game just kept freezing on load and restarting Steam didn't really fix it. I ended up having to completely shut down the stream and reboot the computer. So uh, yeah, that's kind of why the previous stream didn't even have an introduction. We just kind of go, well, let's try that again. And <laughs> at least it did work that time. So fingers crossed we don't run any other, into any other kind of weird issues here. And my cat, I worked from home today, and my cat decided that she was going to reward my presence uh, being around by being the biggest asshole she's been in a couple of months. But I guess all of that... Yeah, we want to go to... Yep, yeah, this was our exit safe. So I guess that tuckered her out from being a jackass all day, uh, and now she's sleeping. So for now, my co-host is napping adorably, but at some point she will probably wake up, and if she's been anything like she's been the rest of today, she will be loud, obnoxious, and she will hop up on the desk and drink my frickin' water. So that seems to be what she loves to do on stream for me. But that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so we got, all oh, right, all right. So we were building some things and we're at Herodotus, right? So we are going to, and we've got seven, yeah, we've got a full week. So let's, let's travel to Kimi because they end up, there's usually, no, all right, so that'll be 15 days and 30,000. Yeah, we may as well go here because there are usually some good missions and there's usually some good gear. By your command. 
and we have to wait for the archer anyway. So we may as well be traveling that amount of time. Ooh, are we doing a ship upgrade? We are probably not doing a ship upgrade. We need to solve that. Problem. Okay, let's go to engineering. We'll do ship upgrades. We only wasted a day, thankfully. Let's... Yes, we're going to do the refit harness here. Roger that, Commander. Perfect. I'll get the crew moving. We never... At least long-term, looking at the whole campaign as a whole, usually don't want to be not doing upgrades if you can help it. And at this point, we've got the money for that. All right, Carla. Oh, come on. They're doing this to me already? So this event... I've, I've had the gamut of of how this plays out. So let me read this out first, and then I'll kind of go over a quick story of how sometimes this plays out for me. In your quarters, Decker points to a compad. Commander, I've got an offer from another company, the Great Death Legion. Their CEO, Grayson Carlisle, who is a very well-known uh, character from the lore of Battletech, their novels and everything. Uh, is paying top dollar for mercs. He's even offering a kickback to any company he poaches from. 100,000 sea bills. That's unusual, you say, examining the paused image of Carlisle in the compad. Uh, go on. Carlisle is something else. I played his message over and over. The way he talks, I know we would really shake up the galaxy, and I want to be part of that. Decker smiles bittersweetly. But this crew's my family, and leaving isn't so easy. What do you think? Um. So... You have a couple of decisions. So you can either caution Dexter Decker against making a quick decision, and that's probably going to make it more likely that he stays, but I've I've picked that and had them leave anyway because they're like, you know, for whatever reason, I guess they get indignant that you're trying to talk them out of it. Um, so I generally don't like this option. Like, my attitude is if the pilot's going to leave, I'd rather at least go on a better term. So, you know, give Decker the blessing if he wants to leave. Um... I mean, 100,000 sea bills at this stage of the game isn't really that crazy of amount of money. Now, granted, if this had happened when we were really hard up on sea bills, less than a million, probably would have been like, yeah, give De give, give Decker the blessing and see what happens. <clears throat> I'm going to encourage him to keep the 100,000 if he leaves. That way, if he stays, he's going to be loyal as shit. But uh, if he does go, all the other pilots will kind of hear about it, and at least our morale will improve. So let's see what happens here. Uh, yeah, God damn it. All right, you sound fired up, Decker. This isn't easy to say, but you should take Carlisle's offer. Hell, you can keep the kickback for yourself. You've earned it. You extend a hand. Decker takes your hand, but unexpectedly hugs you. Uh, I won't forget you, Commander. You taught me everything I know about leadership. And you know we could throw a killer party with some of this extra cash. With your permission, of course. Granted, you disentangle yourself from Decker. He nearly runs out of your quarters. His voice echoes down the corridor as they start spreading the word about the party. Though the details of the celebration are fuzzy, the crew buzzles, buzzes with excitement after Decker departs. So, we've lost our first member, but at least he didn't get killed. He left voluntarily, and our morale did improve by one. And we do like our morale improving, because the more our morale improves, the more our resolve will gain in our missions. And ultimately, that means more vigilance, more precise shot, all that jazz. So, uh, but that what this also means is our mech warrior roster is now one shorter. So now we can only really absorb one mech warrior pilot injury. Ready for orders. Uh, ooh, we can upgrade you. So, oh no, we can't upgrade you. I'm, I'm not an idiot. Uh, I don't think anybody, ooh, but we could upgrade you. So, uh, you know, I want to improve her health, indirect fire penalty, or movement. Let's go with movement for now. Training confirmed, oh, Commander. Or... Ready for order. Okay. So, once we get to Kimi, we'll start looking around for pilots, and we're going to start looking to hire and then improve Decker's replacement. Because it would be nice to at least have one ace pilot, because there are times where having an ace pilot is helpful for a particular mech build or a particular mission. In particular, what I'm thinking, there are acquisition missions where you have to go to a very specific spot very, very quickly for a various reason. Most of the time, it's so a satellite in orbit can orbitally bombard a target and there's only a limited window. And for those missions, it's really helpful to have a really mobile, quick mech. And so Decker was a perfect pilot with those. Whatever. So anyway, we're going to just continue here. Let's look for missions. Let's do some warm-ups. And hopefully we have some good warm-ups here. Hopefully the game doesn't kind of F us over. 
with that. Sometimes it does. Yeah, wow. Look at all these local government missions. This, this sucks. Wow, it only gave us one. But at least the one it gave us is a good one. These joint operation missions are really nice. So we're going to do this one. We're tracking local government units engaged in a secret military exercise in a remote portion of the planet's surface. This is an ideal time to strike, as they're likely damaged and exhausted from the operation. And we believe they're unaware of our presence. It isn't clear who the other party in the exercises is, but whoever it is, they're a potential witness. So we need you to eliminate them as well. So yeah, these pay really well. And if you play your cards right, it's not eight on four, it's four on four on four. And everybody should be shooting at everybody else. <laughs> Opponents whose identities we don't know give me heartburn, Commander. Yeah, I know, Darius. I know, buddy. I know. But at least it is going to pay us well. So there's that. I'm inclined to go... Yeah, we, we should get a bunch of salvage off of this. So let's do it. Let's build some rep with the pirate faction. And yeah, all right. So this is going to be our, our A team for right now. I like this. The only question is, do I substitute the blackjack for the shadow hawk? But I don't think so. We're going to go with the blackjack, especially since it's a polar environment. The... Blackjack's inability to keep its heat under control should be fine. So let's deploy and we'll we'll kind of get this started. Interesting warm-up. Definitely an interesting warm-up. It's kind of hoping for some easier warm-ups. Where we're gonna go right into a shit show. But at least it's not gonna be some sort of like ambush or titan attack. Titan attacks are awesome, but that's uh that's not really what I'm going for when it comes to a warm-up. Uh, so Titan attack missions while the game continues to load. Ah, there we go. Begin mission. Perfect. Thank you. I already read the upcoming game. But anyway, so a Titan attack is when... Um, no, hold on. We're, you're approaching the target area, Commander. There's definitely been fighting in this region. Lots of low-intensity laser scoring. Intel says the target lands, and it's not going to give us a preview. Sometimes it does. Should be in this area. Engage them and keep your eyes open for that other lance. Good hunting, Commander. Oliveira out. So, we are going to go... I'm already kind of scouting out this... Uh, uh, M. Fine. I'm already kind of scouting out this map. I think what I would rather do is... Let's go over this way. And then we'll, we'll try and make our way to these woods in case they spot us early. And at least we'll have cover. But if not, we can kind of go down into this area and then advance over here and deal with whatever's here. Because most likely the other lance is going to be out here. And if we just go straight forward, we're going to be right in between those two lances. What I'd rather do is sandwich that one in between the likely location of the other one. So we'll do this. Uh huh. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yep, that didn't take long. All right, so there's our first mech. And at least this way, we're... Location confirmed. At least reasonably close to those woods, and we'll have high ground. They're light, so they're going to go first, because that's how it works. But in a way, I kind of like them going first at this stage. It means I'll probably have the first shot. Waiting for orders. Perfect. Uh, really rather have cover, but... If I go here, that mountain's going to impact my line of sight to the 30. still think I like the idea of being in cover. So we're going to do that. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's do this. The blackjack will come under fire most likely. That's okay. Ugh. Well, fine. Hmm. We've got so many shots of the AC2. Even firing both of them, we got 25. Well, eh, we only have 25 shots. We'll just save it. And we'll fire lasers at the other one. All right. I got 15 damage. As far as I'm concerned, that's free damage. Somebody else is going in the medium phase. Probably the other team. What's up, boss? Yep. You go here. Yeah. Position we'll only confirmed. be doing two damage with each of those LRMs instead of four. But it's a javelin. Fairly light. I'd rather whittle off some more evasion. And we still managed to breach the armor in one of the locations. 
fuck. These can be a little annoying. Fucking assassin. But that was actually a good target for it. Oh my god, look at all that fucking evasion that assassin has. That's absurd. Oh my fucking god. Alright, yep. so if I go here and shoot that fucking thing, yeah, only, <laughs> only a quarter of them would even hit. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna bother trying to shoot at that. Uh, I don't like being that clustered. Shit, man. Uh, if I just stay here... Yeah, if I just stay put... I don't even know if they could target the archer. I'd still hit with more than half of them. I think we'll do that. Let's just go after this javelin, and I'll keep the archer where it is. So it's far enough away where it can't even be targeted. All the better. Nice. Got past his armor. Yes, you did. So we're going to jump, most likely. And let's see. Yeah, that's probably going to be what we do here. Yeah, let's do that. Engaging let's just objects. move all this shit over here. That works. I've got a bunch of evasion. And you're probably going to die, because even with you taking 50 points of damage, you're going to hate your life. All weapons committed. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I should add that one to my sound, uh, to my soundboard. Oh yeah, I do need to add that in, uh, Boom Headshot. I'll have to reconfigure that. I'm still dealing with my new computer configuration here. So there's some, some things I haven't set up yet. Alright. Waiting on you, Commander. So, yeah, we're just gonna continue moving over this way. Moving out. Damn, I must not have uh, done that yet. There. All weapons are go. So once I get her tactics and all of the pilots tactics improved more, you, you get called shot chance. mastery. As soon as it's more than like 30% chance for a leg, that would be the best opportunity to take out a leg. Yeah, there's our other, there's our other Lance. And of course they're shooting at me, Damage. not them. So that's not great. Probably a blackjack. So that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that they're all firing at me. Commander. That's kind of lame. But what can you do? Oh, really? Let's uh, let's reserve. Let's see if we can get that assassin to move. There we go. That's better. Yeah, you moved a little out of range. But you know what? That kind of works for me, actually. All right, fine. Let's see. I can. Yeah, unfortunately, this bastard kind of lined up in such a way. Well, I could go over here and really fuck up the assassin. Because it only had one evasion pip. So let's do that. And then if I don't kill it. Oh, and it. It looked like it only had one. Fuck. Sucks. All right, fine. Yeah, let's just go for it. All weapons Not great. Committed. That did not go according to Seraph's plan. Waiting for orders. I think this is going to be okay. Yeah, this. On the move. Then the archer will do the real damage here in a second. Engaging. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! And we got a lucky LRM ammo explosion. Reporting. Eat a dick, hit. assassin! Commander. Do 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 do. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Fine. Let's just go to the very got top. It. And let's delete this fucking assassin. Firing on target.
There we go. I, think I don't even know if it has any weapons left. The assassin may not even have any weapons left. <sighs> hmm. Wow, that one's... I think this one's trying to flank me. But that's still not necessarily a great plan. Eyes on a Darius. Plants moving towards your position. <laughs> yes, yeah, so obviously sometimes the um, the procedural code for these things uh, doesn't always. This makes for great memes. I, I've seen this on Twitter and it's like, we knew Darius was the traitor the whole time. And this is where that kind of comes in. So, yeah. It's obviously not a Darius Lance, but that does make for some for some good moments like this. Jesus Christ. All right, so that's our targets hour for. They're part of the contract, so engage and destroy commander. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to be fun. Good to go. <laughs> uh, it's great. All right, so this assassin. Yeah, the assassin doesn't have any weapons anymore. So, you know what? Fuck the assassin. Let's uh let's go after this locust, I think. On my way. Since the assassin can't even shoot me anymore, let it be over there. Uh, let's, let's see. Wow, that's pretty terrible. That is pretty terrible. Okay, so. No, we're not going to waste actual ammo. Uh -huh. All right, I hit you once. That was worth it for me. Another hit like that and you're I don't mind taking shots, low percentage shots like that. With laser weapons. There we go. Shoot the... God damn it. Shoot the assassin, not me. Damage minimal. Well, they do say enemy allied forces, so I guess they are working together. Still sucks. At least they're missing me. Orders. So I think what we'll do here is... I think what I'd rather do, since they're still over there and I'd have to leave cover, let's go over here. Let's try and deal with this locust. That way, when we are dealing with the fight over here, we've got cover. Still stinks that that's such a low percentage shot. Though. Yeah, let's go with that. Firing all weapons. Yeah, I was hoping at least the AC-10 would hit. But it's still a locust. It has such low hit points anyway. Okay. That, I've got to move now. Yeah, not fun when you've got seven fucking mechs firing at one mech. I didn't think they would have that moment to then completely... Oh, really? All right, fine. We'll just jump over here. Engaging jump jets. Get you out of that. Sensor lock. The locust, and we'll get two of those evasion pips away. Sensor and we'll have Medusa target. fire on it with the archer. Bastards. What are you doing? You got nothing. So I thought. Ready for orders. I mean, I give I give the guys I give I give him credit for luck. <laughs> Give me credit for pluck. Uh, I'd really rather not do that. Uh, feel like if I do that, I'm opening myself up. Well, let's just hope we're out of range of all the rest of that shit. Well, oh, that's pretty terrible. But open fire. works. It's dead. It's all that mattered. Gotcha. So now I don't need to worry about being flanked, and now I can't spot for them. That was the really important part strategically, is not allowing that locust to just allow them to shoot me the whole time. So I ended up working from home today because my uh, 
neck was a little on the sore side, but nothing too crazy. Uh, hence why Cleo was around to annoy me the whole day. Um, but it's nice that I'm kind of starting to feel a little bit better. Of course. Good. Good, good. Perfect. Okay. So we got this assassin. Let's, uh... What can I do for you? So if we go here. That works. Let's have Glitch fire on the assassin, whittle off some evasion, and we'll just take out this thing since it's the only thing in range right now. Hell, I might even do that. Shit, let's do that. We've got the resolve. Let's do it. This should be good. That might actually kill it. Yep, it did. So, we've destroyed two, half the original lance and one of the reinforcement. Let's just reserve, see if anybody else. Okay, nobody else is going? Perfect. Let's see. So if I advance, I could do that. Or I could just sensor lock. I actually like the idea of sensor locking here. Let's, uh, let's go here, I think. Actually, let's jump, let's jump over here. So I do want it attacking other things, even though the victors got the armor for it. Should still be able to sensor lock you. I can. Sensor Perfect. On target. Excellent. Uh, or. Oh, shit. Hmm. Yeah, fire. Actually, precision strike. Yeah, there we go. Precision strike it. Taking the shot. Wilkins are decent mech. They've got flamers, so they're nice kind of harasser. Waiting for orders. Uh, should probably just stay right there. Although if I go here, it's going to be the same. Oh, no, it's much less. So, yep. Yeah. Although what we will do, we will at least move so we can get better distribution. There we go. Got some critical damage. Inflicted some heavy damage. <laughs> yes, you did, Medusa. Perfect. Let's reserve. Uh huh. Let's let as many of them go as possible, because if they're going, they're probably not shooting at me. Even though they'll end up being braced because they're not shooting at me, but I'd rather them be braced and not shoot at me than uh, them be shooting at me and have a little less defense here. Uh, let's see. Good to go. And I don't think I can. I don't think I can do that. Let's reserve one more time. Yep, perfect. This works for me. That definitely works. I hear ya. We've got. Receiving you. Same amount of armor that you do. So let's cruise up here, because you primarily have lasers. Got it. Miranda. Ooh, you know what? Nah. Let's just fire. Wow. I probably hit more without doing precise shot, just from RNG. Yeah, critical hit. Standing by. Let's make sure better firing arc. Perfect. Okay, now let's let's do that. Let's play more in a second. There you go, good. Because now I can have Renegade sensor lock one of the other two and I'll fire on it with the archer. Mech destroyed. So now it's a four on four fight. Oh, it's a fair fight. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go this way. And we'll... So I can't sensor lock that one anyway. But if I advance this far, I could probably sensor lock whatever that is, which is extremely likely to be a locust. Sensor lock. Yep, locust. What do you need? Perfect. Coordinates received. Move over ever so slightly. 
And fire, even doing two points of damage. This should really mess up this locust. Good. Destroyed a leg and an arm. Perfect. Critical hit, Commander. So we still got two other mechs out there. They must be beyond sensor range entirely. We should start. Yep, there's ah, uh, there's our medium mech. Probably a blackjack, based on what fired at us before. What are you doing? not a smart decision, but okay, we'll take it. Right. Look at what we've got down there. Whoa, and a 75 ton mech. Huh. All right, so we got a heavy mech. That could be a problem. That's going to be our, that's probably an Orion. Yeah, that's got to be an Orion. All right, so you know, I wonder if we'll try to I wonder if we could play games and try to incapacitate. Well, we were only going to get two salvage anyway. What can I do for you? All right, so let's let's advance and we'll just shoot this thing. Trebuchet. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely shooting the fucking trebuchet. Although I thought I'd have more to fire at you than an EC2, but all right, it must be just out of range. We're gonna shoot that yeah, trebuchet for sure. Let's advance. Let's advance here. Affirmative. Yeah, if you're if you've got a trebuchet, what you don't want to do is do what they did. Although it's oh, this one's got this one's a different loadout. This is the uh, all right. This is the 7K variant. This isn't the LRM missile boat. Yeah, no, that's this is all right. This isn't that good of a, of a variant of the trebuchet, in my opinion. Copy that. I much fear the other ones more than this. So you can do 90 from there, or if I back up. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do. And fire. Locked on top. There we go. Scored a critical hit. I think we destroyed its PPC there, didn't we? Yep. Oh my god. It, does, it basically doesn't have any weapons anymore. Uh, so... I guess the question is, do I want to re... refocus its efforts? But I don't think so. I think what I'm better off doing here is just jumping here just to get an evasion pip. And I guess what we'll do is we'll just set up a firing line. Yeah, I think what I'd rather do is just do that. Can't really fire on the trebuchet, but at this point, the trebuchet doesn't have any more weapons. So yeah, I could spot the behemoth. It's going to spot the centurion, rather, with which behemoth is in, but they're going to advance anyway. So I would rather sensor lock the Orion. Oh, it's a marauder. Fuck. Okay. Well, but by sensor locking it, it now will have a more difficult time hitting me with its PPCs. So yeah, we definitely want to get some of that Marauder, Marauder salvage. Um, and if we do play games with it, we could incapacitate its pilot or blow off its legs. We already have some Marauder salvage. We could very Ready easily. Yeah, I may as well. Yeah, let's shoot the Locust. All weapons are killed. Yeah. Kill the Locust. <laughs> that one at least has weapons it could fire at you with. <laughs> that trebuchet really can't do much to me other than spot. We're gonna exchange. We're gonna exchange some fire here. But I'm in cover and they're in open terrain. Not waiting on you, Commander. Not a good exchange for them. I'm actually going to precise shot. I want to hit as much of this centurion as possible. Firing everything I've got. There we go. Perfect. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. <laughs> I love glitches, uh, smack talk. It's the greatest. That trebuchet can't do shit anymore. 
Now, theoretically, if the AI were really smart, what it would do is it would keep that Marauder at long distance and just shoot me with PPC bolts all day and not even come close and just let these mechs that are already fucked spot for it. I'm showing minor damage. Fortunately, Orders. it doesn't look like it's going to do that. There. Mm. All right, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to actually advance with the archer. Because, yeah, I want to do as much damage to that Marauder. Uh, at this point, it's time to do damage to the Marauder. On my way. Because the Marauder is the... Is definitely the problem here. Although, well... Wow, I'm really close to killing that Centurion. All right, you know what? Let's finish this Centurion off. Locking in. All Good, we killed it. Really fucked that mech up. Target. Jesus Christ. All right. Now. Perfect world. Oh, shit. So. Problem is I can't reach those. If I jump over here. Shoot the Marauder and we could at least get this started. I'm going to go evasion here. I'm actually okay with that. I think we hit its leg. That would be good. It'd be nice to knock it over. Oh, are you going to try a melee attack with me? What's that? Waiting for orders. Uh, I think I will try a melee attack with you, though. Cool you down a little bit, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just back up a little bit. Wow, my options are pretty limited here, aren't they? I could just shoot this. Let me just shoot the trebuchet here. Aye, aye. And by not moving, I regained some of, the, some of that stability. Yeah, I know only one stability damage. Left I now. hear ya. Uh, I think. I kind of like the idea of doing that, but go here, we can start shooting that Marauder. Uh, I did damage to the torso, but we could blow off the torso theoretically with a good shot. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. And all of them are good options, but I really would like to disable that Marauder if I can get away with it. So let's... I think, yeah, let's do this. We're going to ignore Guarded here. We'll cool down the Blackjack a little bit. Go, do some damage. Maybe get the Marauder to shoot at the Blackjack instead of just the... Uh... Now, it's trying to draw its fire away from the Centurion. Now I got to get her to move back because that's we're losing too much armor. That's okay. She could go back and fire uh, a bunch of things at it. All right, so yep. you, we're going to advance. Yeah, right there would be good. Perfect. And fire. All weapons are cold. This will do. It's going to be difficult for that Marauder to ignore me from there. You know, I may have even had enough jump to get behind it. But I don't know if I want to... Yeah, we're going to end up coring this thing, aren't we? Wow. Well, it doesn't have any PPCs anymore. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yep. Damn it. Well, now we got to pay some repair bills. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Good to go. You little bastard. Oh, well. Oh, I, damn it. All right. My plan was to shoot that with the AC-2s. And that's why I didn't care that these had such... Yeah. 
whatever. Take this. I wanted to knock this thing over with the AC twos, but oh well. Receiving you. Fine. Return fire. Locking in all weapons. Yeah, that's alright. That's okay. We'll have some minor repair bills, but nothing crazy. That's all of them. <laughs> I can't believe they sent a freaking marauder after us, though. That is, uh, that was a little bit of a surprise. A nice warm up, all in all. We took a little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. Yeah, it was all on one arm. We just got a little unlucky taking damage to that one arm. That's right. Yeah, look at, I mean, look at this shit, right? <laughs> the number of times they just completely outnumber. Oh, it had the uh, variant, right? It switched the auto cannon for an I mean, you know what? It gets me closer to a Marauder, even if it's not the Marauder I wanted, right? Because I had bought 3R, uh, 3R salvage instead of 3D, whatever. We look okay here. Uh, let's see. Trebuchet. Yeah. I think we'll go with the Centurion here. So that's more likely that we'll ever get. The 7k trebuchet is a very uncommon, I shouldn't say very uncommon, but it's definitely a more uncommon variant trebuchet that typically you'll find. To all things being equal, since they're just as valuable, I went with the more likely one to complete. Hmm. Now we'll check the store and see what we can buy. Actually, let's go to the hiring hall too. See if we can hire a good. Right. Yes, Commander. Cool. We got a. Ki so this is one of the one of those pilots I was talking about with the Kickstarter, where you get some a pretty long bio. I'm probably not going to read that bio right now, um, but you get some pretty cool stories. And these, at least, I like. I really like these pilots. Um, let's see. That's a pretty cool ha call sign. Hacker sensor lock could be useful. So maybe what I'll do for him is I'll work on sensor lock and uh, ace pilot just to just to get some pilot variants. We'll see. Yep, we'll hire this guy and we're back up to our normal uh, pilot roster. All right, we could buy one more Marauder salvage, which I am actually. In Ooh, OK, that's a really good weapon. This it's not a plus weapon, so no. Small pulse laser. Actually, I kind of like the small pulse laser. But we only have so much money. So based on what I see here, yeah, let's let's go with Marauder Salvage. Let's buy one of these. New equipment available. And we are going to buy the ER medium laser. Uh, it's just, I mean, for most of the maps to propagate in this game, if you've got an ER medium laser, you're going to hit pretty much anything uh, on the map. These are plus they've I think they've got uh, a bait. Yeah, they do. All ER medium lasers enjoy a baseline accuracy bonus over other weapons. So you've got already a baked in plus to hit. They just generate more heat than I would like, but I mean, what can you do? You'll we'll eventually get plus versions of these weapons and it'll be worth it. But we've got two million C bills. Even though half is half a million C bills is a lot. That's a good component to have long term. That's that's a good purchase. I almost would like to get the ER PPC, but in this game, I actually prefer having PPCs to ER PPCs only because the maps really don't really don't they're just not big enough most of the time to benefit from having that extreme range uh, on these. Now, Mech Warrior 5, I definitely go with the ER PPC on that because the ER PPC, the actual PPC bolt goes a little faster, so it's a lot easier to hit things with it. I I always take the ER PPC uh, in uh, in the actual Mech Warrior game, but for this one, I almost would prefer a plus variant PPC to the ER PPC. But there are some plus variant ERs that are worth having. I think I'm going to take that pulse laser because that will be a good short range weapon. And I do like having lost tech weapons. And at least this way, we could actually put some lost tech weapons on a mech when we eventually get New it. So we'll do that. Available. It was a little expensive. But that was a good visit for us. We're going to save because that was a good warm up and everything else. Now we could do. We could do smithing, but I think what we'll do 
is let's go back. Let's go back to Herodotus. And let's see if we can, because, let's see. Is there gonna be, yeah, new financial report in 13 days. So we'll have a new financial report and, uh, so basically we'll refresh the store between financial reports. Uh, we could go to Lyriton first, actually. But, or we could go here and just see what's over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's see. Do we go to Thinkalunus or... It's uninhabited, so the store here is going to be a complete... There's not going to be a... There's really not going to be a store. There's going to be missions, but there won't be a store. So you know what? Let's do this one. There's a chance that there'll be some Marauder Salvage uh, that we could... Uh, partial salvage that we could buy and there might be some missions that we could do that'll be uh, a decent warm-up just some nice easy missions we can get under a belt just to again reaccumulate our war chest even though we're slightly healthy at a million three hundred thousand sea bills that's really not that great of amount of money it would be nice to pick up some hopefully we could do a couple that are really quick That work order is complete, boss. Top notch work, if let's I may see. say so. Yeah, let's. Well, actually, let's take a look. It's this one. Yeah, repair scaffolding. Twenty days. We can. We can. We can do that. It'll take a bit, but done. we'll get it done. All right. Now we're in good shape as far as mech repairs. We're going to be able to do those a lot faster. We won't be down for weeks like we were that one mission when we got our ass kicked. Well, when I got my ass kicked. <laughs> and it was like 33, 34 days or something like that between all of the mechs ha that needed repairs. It, it took forever. It may have even been longer than that. It may have been like 45 days. And yeah, that was that was pretty brutal. All right, tying up loose ends. You and Darius are networking on a planet side bar when a familiar voice cuts through the din. An impossible voice. Rance was a family bodyguard who'd abandoned his post on that fateful night long ago when your family was betrayed. You killed him for it. But that's Rance stumbling into your table. Hey, Slurs, could you spare any sea bills? I have to get off world. I need to stay a step ahead of the devil. Amused, Darius prompts the drunk with, What does the devil want with you? <laughs> Rance freezes with a pr like a prey animal. Revenge. Renegade wants revenge. So there's no Dan. There's no. <laughs> wow. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> I've never had this random event. Wow, kill Rance where he stayed. Did I? Have I never had this? I was about to say, like, I thought I recognized it this first, but I don't think I've ever had a chance to kill somebody where they stood. Uh, scare him by introducing yourself or let the past go. Wow. Do I kill this bastard where he stands? Scare him? Hmm. Huh. Ha <laughs> You know, I don't know. I mean, I could, well, we did, yeah, I really don't want to save Scummit just to see what it'll do. I like, I kind of like dealing with the consequences of my actions. Let's just kill this fucking guy where he stands. <laughs> the shot rings out and kills the din momentarily until the entire tavern erupts as everyone runs for the door. Darius is as shocked as Rance, both of them looking for the smoking pistol in your hand in the spreading pool of blood. On the man's shirt. Recognition finally dawns on Rance's face. Marcus McDougal is all he manages before toppling over. At this point, Darius takes charge of the situation, grabs you by the elbow, and makes for the kitchen exit. Well, Commander, should I start calling you the devil instead? <laughs> so, uh, no lasting consequence. I love that gives you an idea of the universe that this entire game and setting takes place in. Where this is kind of just like nobody thinks twice about this shit. Um, We've arrived at our destination, Commander. Yes, we have. So uh, let's take a look at the. I could have just gone to the hiring hall. Oh, ooh. Aye, aye. Actually, yeah. You know what? Because we can we can mold this dude into what we need, even though it's going to be an extra thirty thousand civils to support him. But let's do that. New mech warriors available. Let's do that. Let's go to the store. Marauder, come on, Marauder. Yeah, no Marauder. I didn't think so. And these are like shotgun uh, PPCs. They do a lot of damage, but they spread it around a lot. 
Uh, they could they could really mess you up. Um, area sensor lock. Yep. This is not something that pops up very often. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like the beagle. Any kind of mecha you could put a beagle actor probe. You could do this, and it uh, performs a sensor lock against all enemies within its radius. It's it's kind of neat. Um, yeah, I keep. It, it's not often I've, I've seen that. But anyway, all right, let's take a look. Let's see what contracts there are to be had here. And if not, we'll just go somewhere else. But hey, I'm glad. Oh, distraction. Those are always good. Yep, this is going to be simple. Oh, yeah, for this money. Yeah, we're just going to go and curb stomp something and fuck something up. Um, biological sample. Okay, so this is kind of what we did the first time, but we got our ass kicked doing it this time. You know what? Let's try again. And this time... Yeah, you know what? Let's get some, uh... Wow, yeah, there's paltry money. Let's... But we like salvage. But let's get some redemption here. Oh. I didn't repair the victor. Let's take a look. We still have all the armor. We're just missing a slight bit of structure. I just totally forgot. We're going to deploy. This is okay. <laughs> this, this is going to be all right. But, um, yeah, that was that was dumb on my part. Oh, before we do that, let's go to the barracks. Let's upgrade. Yes. Upgrade health, max sprint. Yeah, let's let's move Back a little bit more. Complete. Should have done this before. Yeah, yes, that's a good deal. Heat threshold. Waiting on you. you guys. Ready for order. Standing. I hear ya. Perfect. Commander. All right, and we've got indirect fire or... Yeah, let's go with the Training movement. Complete. I like that for those. Now let's have our... Let's have our redemption mission. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's nice that it does warn you in case you do actually forget. So let's see, the target seems to be just a low-level officer in the overall local government scheme of things. Just a link in the chain. We just need to dive in, take out the target, and get out. Oh, it's an assassination mission. Oh, right, the other one was biological sample. So we'll do this one quick, and then we'll do the biological sample. These are the uh, coordinates that the Capellan Intelligence provided. Commander, local government target, believed to be here. And it looks like, ah, it's in a Shadowhawk. Clean up the yeah. There's always a bonus. We'll we'll clear up the other units too. There's probably going to be reinforcements because there's almost always reinforcements. But who knows? Maybe there's only one supporting lance, and we'll be able to just blow through them. That would be nice. Um, you don't have jump shots, so we're not going to take the high ground here. Coordinates received. That way, Moving and out. you. Perfect. Confirm. Let's just advance. I could put jump jets on the archer, but considering it's an LRM boat, I really don't need high ground with it to, uh... Mm. Alright, so if we're going to do that, we're jumping. Engaging jump jets. Yep, I'm glad I did. So now I'm... I'm uh, full work and entrenched. So that was a good decision. Alright, so we've got an energy variant blackjack. we got a 30-ton mech. Got a pretty good idea that's a javelin. Almost, almost positive that's going to be a javelin. Let's just move just uh -huh. enough to get to the woods. Yep. I think I do need to sprint to get to you. Yep, I do need to sprint to get to that. That's okay. Sprint to get up there. On the move. And you, my friend, will stay. Yeah, you'll stay put right there. Holding. Even though it's a heavy mech, and it's got decent armor, the archer really doesn't have all that much armor on it. So I, I prefer to just keep the archer out of the... Let's resume. Because uh, something else is going to shoot at it anyway. I'd rather just have it go and be firing at me with high evasion. Yep. Wow, it managed to hit me twice. That's super lame. That's okay. That blackjack's gonna regret that. Yep. And now they're gonna fire at the with an LRM5 that the uh, Shadowhawk has. Damage 
damage minimal. And um, now I'm thinking this blackjack is going to hate his life. Ready for orders. Yeah, now the blackjack hates his life. Don't I'm going to go into the twice. water for a little extra cooling. Firing everything I've got. Now it doesn't have any evasion. Waiting for orders. I go here. Okay, fine. I still think you can't atta get attacked from there, but why not? Sit in the water. I'd much rather hit you with 85% of my missiles than 65% for each of those. <laughs> Standing by. Yeah. It's, um... I just shoot from here. Oh, well, yeah, let's just shoot from here. Fuck it. Let's see how you like this. I right, missed with both those medium lasers, huh? That hit something good. Well, I would have liked to have knocked you over, but oh well. Yeah, let's do it. At least we'll be able to jump. At least we'll have some extra mobility. And fire. There we go. That'll probably knock you. Oh, even better. Oh, so there are only two supporting forces. Cool. Oh, this is four on three. <laughs> These guys are fucked. This is a milk run. Unless reinforcements show up. Waiting for orders. Yeah, let's just advance. Got it. I'm actually surprised I still haven't found a, a normal large laser to buy yet. Let's get our blackjack uh, up and running. Although at this point, we might end up... Um, yep, there's the AC-5 and there's the LRM-5. At this point, we might be able to complete a, a Marauder and just replace the blackjack with a Marauder. That would be really nice. Waiting for orders. That would, be, that would actually be awesome. Let's advance. We'll just advance this way, because we need to get to that Shadowhawk. Affirmative. <laughs> it never gets old. Yes, Commander. Got it. This will probably knock it over or kill it. Yeah, or kill it. Target eliminated. Yeah, all right. Exiting combat. So that's the problem. I didn't get a chance to go. So I didn't get a chance to vent heat. And uh, it's going to get a chance to go again. I didn't really have that much heat. This Shadowhawk is uh, pretty fucked at this point. Good to go. Yeah, we'll go this way. Moving out. And he's got cover. Take this. Primary target damage, Commander. We just gotta mess it up fast enough where. Um... Oh shit. Uh, but we got to mess it up fast enough where it doesn't make a run for it and it's not able to actually get out. That's why doing stability damage is really key here. We'll just... Engaging jump jets. Actually, we will because we're going to lower its initiative. I just take the 5% chance of just ending this. Uh, yeah, let's just focus on this, unfortunately. Sometimes it's worth it. Oh, there we go. 
Greetings, freak bot. Let's uh, let's open fire. Let's open fire real quick, and then we'll uh, switch and do some do some shout outs and welcome everybody from the raid. We'll see how Yakuza the rest of uh, Yakuza Zero went. We're just doing we're actually still doing some warm ups here. So we're just gonna uh, level the Shadowhawk for a bit. Should knock it down. Yep, and we just did just knock it down. It's life sucks. A hundred percent chance of bullshit approaching. <laughs> oh man! First the subline, and then I stream and miss all the good shit. No. <laughs> oh, so lame. <laughs> uh, oh right, that's that's not helpful. Um, wait, what's going on here? Oh, the denial zone. Right, that's where I. Oh, it's gonna try. It actually is trying to make a run for it. Uh, cool. So yeah, sometimes, so some, you know what? Let me, let me do the shout outs. <laughs> let me do the shout outs first. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. So what kind of shit did I miss? Is this going to actually work? And now the damn bot is going to break. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. It just had to wake back up. <laughs> I was like, don't, you, don't do that to me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it is a little delayed. My, uh, my stream elements bot is a little sleepy. Normally, that's, that's much more, that's much, that's much quicker, usually. I'm not sure why the, um, Death and bullshit. Oh, no. So what happened after Oda died? Uh, actually, no. Good point. I'll, I'll watch the VOD and I'll and I'll be able to and I'll be able to enjoy it because because I do do that. I, I will go back and, and watch VODs. Uh, I actually still have to go back and watch the rest of the. Um, so I showed up the other day and um, for um, for Persona 3 yesterday, but I was so tired. I think I was awake for maybe half of that stream and passed right out on the couch. Um, and who knows, maybe that's why I ended up uh, uh, working from home today. Maybe maybe my neck just didn't appreciate me sleeping on the couch. Uh, but yeah, no, I was I was just brutally tired yesterday. Uh, so I still have to go back and rewatch Perso uh, your Persona 3 stream from yesterday, because uh, I'm sure I missed some shit from that too. Um, so yeah, uh, so good. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad things went crazy and good. Welcome Raiders. Uh, I think everybody knows me, but in case somebody uh, there doesn't, I'm Resplendent Seraph. I play a bunch of like chill, fun strategy games, RPGs, RPGs mostly. Um, and we're just kind of go going to go back into it here as I uh, as I explain what we're doing. Uh, let's get back to let's get back to Battletech here. Um, so we're doing an assassination mission. And uh, the last time I did an assassination mission on my previous playthrough, as soon as they realized they're in trouble, They'll try to book it like this. So this is kind of what's happened here. We got to prevent the target from escaping. And um, and so this is where the target needs to escape to. The last time it spawned like here, it decided it was going to go. It got to go and it just left. And it was like mission failed. And I'm just like, I didn't even get a chance to go by the time it decided to leave. Uh, so this is this is much more normal where you would have about three turns really. Uh, well, it tries to run to see if you could do it. Um, at this point, this this guy is is fucked. Uh, so we're you? we're gonna go and we're gonna we're gonna end On this fucking way. guy. Um, so right now we're doing some more warm ups. We're actually gonna do almost the exact same mission that I got completely fucked up in Time to die. Um, before. So we're gonna do a little bit of redemption uh, next. But uh, we're also got a campaign Ready mission coming up where. Um, and this campaign mission ends up being very interesting. Uh, it's smithing, but it's, it's notoriously known by, uh, people who play the game as a, um, a difficulty spike mission. Now, ah, of course you miss with the autocannon, but whatever. Uh, oh, well, it's dead anyway. SRM ammo. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Yes, we made it. <laughs> All target eliminated. Yep. Mission, mission successful. successful. That's what we like. Um, so yes, welcome, Nikki. <laughs> we made it. We've come full circle. 
Uh, but we still made some decent money off of that, and we built up some reputation with the Capellan Confederation. They're going to like us pretty soon. Uh, and then they'll pay us more, which is always nice. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Yes, let's complete a little more of that Shadowhawk because this Blackjack ends up not being... Oh, we could take Blackjack too. But the Blackjack ends up not being all that common of a mech. So one thing I probably should do is uh, actually repair the Victor, the arm to the Victor, like I didn't do last time. It's probably going to take all of a day to repair. Um, but yeah, so far I've uh, I've had, for everybody that needs the update, I've had a good week. My bandage finally fell off, so all my stitches are gone. Uh, and the, and the, the uh, incision is healing nicely. I don't even know if the incision comes up on camera. No, it doesn't even look like it. Uh, oh, yeah, it sort of does, but it's it's pretty minimal. I've got like a little bit of Kurgan action going on, uh, but but nothing crazy. Um, for the most part, it feels pretty good. Uh, we do have a financial report in a day, but let's... I still like the idea of report, repairing this Victor. It's going to... Yeah, it'll take one day. Not a big deal. Let's do that. And what is Seraph doing? Yes, let's go to the cargo. We'll go one day. We'll pay that. Job's done. I've got the Perfect. Yep. Half million. We'll go back down in mil money for a little bit. Uh, just say, yeah, just say I got in a knife fight. So you joke, Darkstar, but my boss was telling people that for the months that I was not at work. He told people I got in. He told people all sorts of shit. And apparently he told every department something different. So educational leadership thought I was in an MMA cage fight. Someone else thought I was at the gym and tried to lift too much. Someone else... Uh, I thought I flipped a motorcycle. I got flipped on a motorcycle. Uh, I did tell one of the departments I got into a knife fight. And those fuckers believed him. So if you don't know my boss, I'm not going to, you know, say his name on stream and all that. But but uh, but Freakbot knows my boss. He has this ability to... Del he should have been a comedian. Well, no, he shouldn't have been a comedian. Because he has this delivery where you can't tell he's fucking with you. It's so believable. It, it just... you just like... Wow, yeah, that's fucked up. And he walks away just like, they have no, and I, I can only imagine he just starts laughing the second he starts walking away from people. Uh, I told him the same thing. <laughs> I should see the other guy. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm just like, God, God damn it. <laughs> so I, yeah, he has advantage on all persuasion and deception checks. He really does. It's the delivery though. The way he says it, it's so believable. It took me like a year before I finally realized, oh my God, 90% of the things this guy says, he's full of shit and he's just fucking with you. <laughs> oh, I love my boss. He's such a, <laughs> he's such a fucking character, man. Oh, but no, no, seriously, my boss is pretty awesome. Like uh, my original plan was to, um, was to, uh, let's switch back to, oh, well, it would help if I actually switch back to OBS to go back to his in game because it doesn't like to uh, do that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, my, my boss, uh, when I was talking to him in January after my surgery and I'm like, Hey, I'm alive and all my limbs work again. Um, he was like, you've, you've, you know, you've got the time, take the rest of January off. I'm like, cool. And cause I was originally going to come back like, oh, you know, 10 days, maybe two weeks after my surgery, which that was obviously very ambitious. Um, and then the plan was I was going to work remotely in February and just work my way back while well, I show up February 1st. Cause I can't VPN in. And I kind of realized, oh my God, the whole, this is like a shit show. So then at that point I was like, all right, any day I feel up for it, I'm just going to go in. And for the most part, except for two days, I've just felt okay. And I've just kind of gone in, uh, even today worked remotely, but you know, like, I like basically just had some back spasms. Um, like my neck felt fine. It was just my back. Um, so dealt with that. And, uh, but yeah, things have been, things have been good, man. Um, but my, my, boss he's awesome but i can't believe half the building believed him especially because some of the stories were so ludicrous mma cage fight i mean it, this isn't like I, I i could i could forgive people before i started streaming and they didn't see i'm like this like lanky really thin obviously not a gym rat dude but for people at work you know and i work at a university <laughs> them to believe him is just like really you believed him why would you do that? I mean, I, 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 
so one of the things I have in common with Kara is we like, uh, we, <laughs> you need to carry a switchblade combo whenever you go into the office. Make people cruelly question if the night fight story is true. <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> if I didn't work at a university, I would totally do that. Um, but but I, I think that would be the, that would be the fast track of getting uh, of getting fired at work. Um, <laughs> You know, working at university, university, I think they'd get a, they'd be a little sensitive to, uh, to that. But um, although Warhammer, if he's around, um, he's he's probably lurking. Um, Warhammer worked. We, he and I used to work at the same university. He brought he, uh, he had a Switch Army knife, um, and at that point, people didn't didn't really give him. Cre yeah, you're just combing my hair. Yeah, I'm just combing my hair, bro. <laughs> uh, so this is almost to a T the mission we played where they completely fucked up our day. So let's get some redemption here, or Seraph is going to completely regret doing this. But um, let's try this because we're gonna get the Capella Confederation to like us. And let's do this. I'm almost tempted to bring along one of these guys just to get them some experience. But I definitely shouldn't do that on a mission where things went really sideways the first time. And things did. Things went completely sideways the first time we tried this. Uh, part of it was we had really bad luck. The Op 4 had the perfect array of mechs based on the, the, the strategic mistake I made. Well, I guess the tactical mistake, you know, strategic mistake I made. Because uh, I went I went north along the landmass instead of going east onto the island. Let's see if it even gives us the same map. Okay, it's a totally different map anyway. Your target's a local government research facility. You'll be recovering Capellan operatives carrying biological sample cases. They're ready for extraction whenever units reach the facility. Pick them up, get to the evac point. Best of luck, Commander. All right, we're probably going to kill everybody. Oh, a jungle. Look at it. So based on this, uh, we have a couple of choices. We could either go across the water here to get to this target zone, or most likely... Yeah, let's just go up through the woods, through the jungle here. And, um... Let's go up through the jungle here and hope for the best. Yes. Let's go up this way. Um... So let's see, where. uh... Okay, so anyway, as we do these warm-ups, we're going to be doing a mission called Smithin, and that's generally the... Uh, I would say the first real difficulty spike campaign mission. It, uh, it Don't always can be, it always has the capability and potential to be a very problematic. Oh, we got a vehicle up there, got a vehicle and a mech. All right, it's so probably a locust and probably a striker. So let's do this. Move order. And we'll start making our way uphill. So we'll see how we do on Smithen. The last campaign mission we did on Panzer the other day on, uh, I think it was Tuesday. Um, We've got yeah, something. Tuesday. Uh, Panzer went textbook. And Panzer can sometimes go a little sideways. But I don't know if... I think we took all of 20 damage to one of the mechs on Panzer. I mean, that was just... It <laughs> was just an ass-kicking. Um, so it'd be nice if we could have even a, even a fraction of that success here. Let's reserve and see what happens. We got, looks look like three mechs here defending the main target. So let's see, let's jump. Ooh, we can even target that guy right out of the gate. Let's do that. I'm going to be targeted by a bunch of shit, but yep, that's what I figured. Perfect. Open fire though. Yeah, all right. Would have been nice to hit with the AC-20. We probably would have killed the mech if we hit that, that. Uh, well, there's our vehicle coming down. Well, it's not, yeah, I'm not sure what it is yet. That kind of ha has I hear the ya. vibes of a striker. Okay. That's the only place where the terrain will even let us shoot at that. You know what? I'm going to give you the scoop. The broadcasted destruction of my liver and sanity returns March 1st. <laughs> oh, 
Nice. Excellent. I love the scoop. Uh huh. Excellent. Receiving you. I'm always a fan of uh, broadcasting the destruction of your liver insanity. <laughs> Yeah, let's just shoot with this. See what happens. Open fire. On it. Man, that locust is so lucky that I missed with the AC-10 and the AC-20. Standing by. Oh well. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, let's just go up here. We'll fire. Position confirmed. Hmm. I definitely need to get a new chair, though, still. I'm still just getting used to uh, this whole awkward... Yeah, maybe if I sit like this, maybe this will be a little a little better here. All right, this might be a little better. All right, let's try this for a little bit. But yeah, I'm still trying to get used to uh, getting comfortable. There we go. <laughs> There's, there goes that locust. Uh, still trying to get comfortable... Uh, sitting in a lot of chairs. It's just really difficult now to find something that's, uh, that's comfortable with my new neck situation. Actually, this, this works. Uh, what do we got? Oh, we do have a fourth thing. It kind of just showed up. All right, so let's reserve. <clears throat> to the same vehicle, probably. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so What's up, boss? Uh, that's not great. Waiting on you, Commander. You fine? Wow, really? I can't shoot at this thing with any of these things? Alright, fine. Let's just advance on our target area. Huh. Really would like to, to uh shoot at that if I can. Did I have to go? Huh. So I could see it from there. I just can't shoot it with anything direct. That's unfortunate. All right, fine. You know what? Let's go oh, here way. and we'll just shoot you with LRMs because Medusa could fire on this. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Ah, yeah. Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I got to play through uh, the first part of Final Fantasy VII um, so that I could get that one. I still haven't beaten the uh, the first Final Fantasy VII game, which still sounds Good weird to, to say. Like, I still haven't beaten the first Final Fantasy game. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? Move into position. I've played a little bit of it. I, I, I feel like I'm... Maybe halfway through it. Yeah, let's just really fuck, fuck up this javelin. We might even fuck. We might even kill the javelin with this. Yeah, all right, we'll take that. Okay, you are going to advance, and we're gonna ruin one of these. We're gonna try and ruin one of these vehicles. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot at that one, and then try and stomp this one. Yeah, let's do that. Good. Destroy that vehicle. Well, yeah, okay, fine. If that's all I can do, I guess this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Got it. Let's just go down and shoot the javelins some more. Fuck it. Got it. Perfect. Nice shot, Glitch. Bang, you're dead. Copy of Event Horizon arrived four hours early, so there's hope. <laughs> Yep, and now we got the reinforcements with long range. But this time we're taking out the um, the Lance defending the initial target much quicker. So whatever bullshit is over at the other location with all these long range weapons, they're not going to be able to just fire at us all day long like uh, what was happening last time. Also, last time they were heavier. They were, uh, there was definitely a Jager mech, which was a heavy mech over in the other location which is bullshit waiting for orders 
Um, you know, let's reserve. Yeah, we knew that would happen. Um, I'm booting remake up now to make it. Yeah, I remember how to play, right? Yeah, I, I, I've already forgotten. Because it's been a couple of months. So, you. I'd like to. Oh, uh, you're not going to make me. You're not going to let me do that, huh? Really? You're not going to let me do that? Well, all right, fine. You know what? You're not going to be able to attack anyway. Fuck it. Fine. Engaging physical attack. Just destroy you. I won't even be targeted this way. Enemy unit destroyed. Now then. Let's see. What else do you guys do? You guys probably aren't going to do anything. Oh, uh, I could go here and attack. Problem is these spore cloud areas. Well, there's a plus four difficulty to hit units moving through them. I will take extra damage, though. That's the only problem. I'll take extra damage, but they won't be able to hit me as easily. Kind of like the idea of just staying put. Standing by. Yeah. We're just going to brace. Stabilizing and bracing. I'm going to have you advance and then brace. On my way. Perfect. Yeah, I liked Remake as I was playing it. So I think that's what I'm going to do now that I have a PS5. Uh, I'll, I'll beat the f uh, the Rebirth on... Um, or rather, I'm going to uh, finally beat re um, the Remake on uh, Steam. And then uh, I'll be able to get... Um, I'll be able to get Rebirth for PS5 when it comes out. That would be the least the hope. Good to go. Now I think we're just going to stay put. I might do Precision Strike. Yeah, let's do Precision Strike and really fuck up this Locust. Commencing Alpha Strike. Oh, yeah. You are not going to like that. Locusts can't take damage for shit, man. Want some more, huh? Perfect. Commander. So now... Now let's let's advance at least one. Wow. All right, fine. Well, we'll advance. Yeah, I'll still hit with one of these. It'll be fine. Well, yeah, why not? Sure. I'm not gonna waste that with anybody. Ah, oh, the whole point was to hit with the AC-10, man. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, it's only going to be three months for the PC port? I thought it was going to be like a year. Yeah, if it's only three months, I'll just wait for the PC port for sure. Yes, Commander. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. You de you're, you're totally right. Yeah, only three months? Fuck that, yeah. See, I'd much rather carry this save data order, uh, over. I totally agree with you there. Although, if I'd known I was getting a PS5, I would have gotten... Nice. <laughs> there goes that locust. Uh, if only I'd known I was getting a PS5, I would have gotten the, uh, I would have gotten both games for PS5, but say la vie. All right. Wow. Really? Yeah, we're just going to jump because God only knows what's going to be over here. Yep. That's what I thought. And that's why I did it that way. But you're going to sprint up. Uh-huh. You're going to sprint up. Moving out. I think you... Go over this way. Perfect. Confirmed. Ah, the timed exclusivity window is three months. That probably means it's going to be about three months, though. I would, I would, I think you're, you're on the head there. But we've already taken out one of these, one of these lances. Yeah, they're going to do next to no damage to the victor, though. One of the reasons why I wanted to jump instead of sprinting was I get that little extra bit of damage. So as you see, these are going to be doing like one, <laughs> one point of damage here, there. It's like negligible damage. Damage minimal. Yeah, truly damage minimal. I hear ya. Uh, I'm probably going to only hit with the AC too. But hey. You betcha. Like that. 
I'd rather be hitting with large lasers instead of AC2s, but oh well. Roger that. Firing on target. Okay. Waiting for orders. Let's see. I think I would rather. Yeah, let's do that. We may as well shoot at the one that's harder to hit. Plus, if we miss, we should be able to hit this one with a stray shot. I copy. It never seems to work that way. Yeah, it's just a standard miss. Yeah. But that seems to work for the computer all the time. Never seems to work for me, but it seems to work for the computer a whole lot. That's all right. Fire. All right. Yeah, now we're now we're really messing up the javelin. Reporting critical hit. Probably June or July for the PC release. Yeah, that's normal. That's about right. That would be fine. I may as well wait for it then. Yeah. Uh, be nice to be able to hit that with the SRM. Oh, there we go. Well, that's much better. Yeah, let's advance. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's try. Well, that's why I should have tried to core it. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. But it would have been nice to hit the leg. But at this point, they're minimal damage. They're minimal threat enemies at this stage. So this is how that mission was supposed to go. <laughs> it just didn't. <laughs> instead, uh, instead of light mechs, it was like, it was probably a trebuchet and a Jager mech. So they were hitting me with LRMs and auto cannons from all the way across the map. It was fucking awful. Here we go. Wow, that mech is still alive. I can't believe that mech is still alive and got to stand and live to fight another day. Wow. That lucky son of a bitch. Even with me playing games with the leg. It doesn't have any weapons left though. Ready for orders. That's all right. Okay, now now we shoot at that one because it's the This one can actually hurt me. All right, finally we hit something with a stray shot and killed it. That was perfect. <laughs> If only that could happen more often. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's hit with more weapons. I'm not really looking to target the location. I just want to hit with a lot more weapons. Because that was instead of like a little more than half, turned into a little more than half to then three fourths. A little more than that, probably four fifths there. So, uh, yeah, we'll do this. They will target me, but it's not going to matter. We're going to pick up our operative. Yep, you're in the right area. Hold position. Oh, we're getting the samples here. Not that it matters. Just for the shits and giggles. Headshot. Oh, ho, ho. Well, it was just standard CT. I saw the explosion. I went, whoa. Enemy That's right. Is in hand, Commander. Good work. All right. So now we go. We'll pick up the other one and we'll get paid. So we get a couple of rounds of just moving. All right, I have set, so you guys didn't hear anything. That's good. Um, I set up my noise filters just right. A helicopter just flew over my place and it was loud as fuck. I'm looking over at my meters and, uh, and I see my level is just perfectly right at the start. So that's, uh, that's a beautiful thing. So if you were wondering why I'm like, why is Seraph just looking around all, all like smug and proud like? <laughs> That's that was what that was about. Moving out. <laughs> Position confirmed. Oh, cool. It's nice. Nice to get validation that I set up OBS correctly. So uh, I also did kind of get a new uh, new bunch of uh, components and I switched out my water loop on my way. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Got it. I'm going to need more water in a minute. The secondary 
asset is in hand and ready for retrieval. All right, so there's there goes our milk run. We have redemption. So then we'll do that last pirate mission. We'll get some money. This will be a real mission here. Minimal XP. Not much there. Ooh, but we will take the javelin. Uh. Yeah, I probably am better off just going with the javelins here since we have. I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, let's look. Any good components? No, no, no good components. All right, we'll just go with that. That doesn't really matter. Yep, it gave us all the components. It gave us all the partial mech salvage anyway. That was actually really nice. That was some good RNG. We usually don't get that much mech salvage. So we'll do that one last mission in, te uh, in this system. We'll head to Herodotus, see if we could buy a Marauder partial mech salvage to complete our Marauder collection. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Yeah, just send it right to storage, buddy. We're going to go to the store. And set, right? I just want to make sure it wasn't there. So, yep. Because we like money. We're slowly but, slowly, slowly but surely getting our money back up and under control. Hello, Cleopatra. Hi, cat. What happened? Oh, did the helicopter wake you up? Did the chopper wake you up? <laughs> that helicopter did wake you up. It's okay, sweetheart. You're probably not used to hearing those. I mean, it is very unusual for a helicopter, especially as low as that was. That was probably only like 100 feet ahead. Um, it was it was flying pretty low. Like the whole house shook a little bit. So I know, I know you're a good girl. You have food. You, you, do you, are you, ugh. Do you really need me to get you food? Do you really need me to get you food right now? Oh. Wait, is this not going? No, there we go. God! No, God, please, no! 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 God damn it, Cleo. No! <laughs> All right, I'm going to go off to feed the cat here real quick. I'm going to load this uh, mission. I like these parameters. We're gonna, we're gonna do this one and uh, see how it goes. I'm just gonna leave this on the loading screen here, but I will be, well, no, let's let's pause real quick. Uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna get some water and feed feed the cat who's decided to wake up and immediately be an asshole. I'll be right back, everybody. Maybe two minutes. Come on, cat. I know. back here. Ow. Okay, everybody. I'm back. Sorry about that. Good old cat. Oh, uh, right. Just hit that. Perfect. There we go. 
All right. Ah, yes. I love these descriptions. We're just planning an operation. I mean, I've read this whole thing before. We're going to point, they're going to point us at a local government uh, patrol and they want us to do something loud and fatal to them. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do something loud and fatal. <laughs> only, only in Battletech can that be a job description. Uh, okay. Hello. I know. I love you too, Cat. You're welcome. I know. All right. So our target should be somewhere in that vicinity. Let's hit him hard. Look in our direction. There's probably going to be room for... Yep. But at least this time, uh, they kind of tell you straight up there's going to be reinforcements. So that's fine. I mean, they're paying us more for this mission, so I don't necessarily mind that. Yeah, that didn't take long. Uh, let's go with... Uh, yeah, let's just go here. Moving out. And yeah, let's let's go there. I think. Aye aye. Let's just position ourselves here. Heading out. And let's see how this goes. She's gonna come right up and drink out of my water. Is that what you want? Wow, where was this well-behaved cat all day? Oh, where's this well-behaved cat been my whole life? Good girl. <laughs> I joke, but she actually is a pretty good cat. That, uh, that, yep. Now she's her head's right in my water. All right. Lulling me into a false sense of security here. That's all right. I knew better. I knew better. So. Uh, well, 20 ton mech. We should have an easy time with this. I'm going to torso twist a little this way, just in case the reinforcements are over on the right side. I'm so glad I got myself some water so that you can drink it instead, cat. I love you, cat. Oh, oh, goodbye, right leg. And it just lost its defensive. So yeah, that locust is in deep shit already. Yeah, the AC-10 is such a devastating weapon. Uh, it, it's it's really ridiculous. Um, Waiting on you, Commander. I really can't do anything with you. Orders. But I can show up here. Fire more Location at that locust that's down. Done. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna hope to kill it with the uh, with Behemoth Centurion here. Shit, man, if I even hit that right leg a few times, this mech is oh, well, yeah, don't don't play games. Play stats. Kill the kill the locust. Yeah. Don't even think twice about it. Mech destroyed. Apparently she wanted water, not food. Not that she doesn't have water all over my house. Anybody that's ever come over here, they can still see a bunch of like, um, <laughs> like, like a bunch of a uh, cups here, there, and everywhere. Because she won't drink out of a bowl. She's got to drink out of a glass, and she's got to drink out of a glass or a cup that she's seen me drink out of. Standing by. If I don't drink out of it, she won't drink. On my way. She's such a, she is my weirdo. <laughs> I feel like I could just do a stream based on the antics of my cat. You're a good girl. Oh, yeah, it would help if I hit brace. <laughs> nice job, Seraph. Why don't you pay attention to your game? I can't help it. My cat is adorable and she's distracted. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Oh, you're not even in view. That's fine. They know you're here. Oh, we got a commando here. But it missed. Hello. I know. Kissy, kissy. I love you too, cat. Good to go. Yeah, let's just advance here. Wow, those are terrible. Uh, fuck. All right, well, let's do that. Uh -huh. Let's advance. We still have another mech out of this enemy patrol. It's got to be over here somewhere. Yeah, let's do that. 
At least we'll hit with some of these. All right, we hit with half. I'll take it. Yeah, critical hit. Ready for orders. Yeah, to already do damage like that. That's pretty impressive. Mm, yeah, we'll just fire at that with some LRMs. Whittle away of it, its evasion. I mean, this is the harder mission that we're going to do in this system. What do you need? I can almost guarantee we've got reinforcements coming in that direction of some sort. Target. I'd rather save up my resolve. Perfect. Our commando's in some trouble. Really surprised that our, uh, that's all we've seen show up here. Really? I mean, it says 50%. We've destroyed, uh, have we only destroyed one mech? I thought we destroyed two mechs. Maybe we only destroyed one mech. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I guess we only destroyed one mech. I lost, I lost count. We'll exit, and now we got reinforcements coming in from somewhere. I've got eyes on there we go. Reinforcements. They're heading your way. Now, usually what happens is missiles come from nowhere, hit me, and then Darius says that same thing. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. So it's like, yeah, they just opened fire on me, Darius. Like that, I don't necessarily mind. Because um, at least that's a little realistic. But uh, it's also before they shoot at me. <laughs> Like, uh, nothing's worse than, uh, uh, all right. Yeah, let's go this way and we'll shoot this mech. It's probably a locust. Yep, it is. Why not? Oh, the crap. Are we going to kill that? Yeah, we just killed that locust outright. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So we got one more reinforcement somewhere. Jeez. All right, so this ended up being easier than I thought. I thought this was going to be four on four, not two on two. But this works. Damage minimal. Waiting for orders. Yeah, it's only a 50-50 shot. It's okay. We'll take it. One hit, one miss. Not bad. What's up, boss? Yeah, we'll just go over here. Move order received. We'll try and flank it. Roger that. See if any of those can hit. Orders. Now. Wow, that's terrible. Roger. I will do precise shot with you because that's some heavy ordnance that I would rather hit. Yeah, much better. And let's just try to kill the javelin outright. We might just kill it right here, and then we can get on with our campaign mission. Perfect. <laughs> I hope that distraction was sufficient for our friend's purposes. <laughs> but yeah, just like that, we just made ourselves half a million sea bills, and we're, uh, we're much better in the black here. Oh, I thought that... Never mind. I'm thinking that was gonna make much more whatever still made some xp that's always nice uh let's go with the guaranteed here and yeah we'll go with you perfect we like money actually with the sell of the locust we're about we're gonna be close to uh half a million civils here profit on this mission that was well worth our time. Okay, see you, Cleo. Bye, Cleopatra. I love you, cat. <laughs> that mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Good. That means let's go to the mech bay here. Oh, I don't need to go to the mech bay. We need to go to the barracks. It's good. Uh, plus two health. Yeah, I'd rather have training base better hit. Ready for orders. Still, yep, you've hit your training. You've hit your simulator limit. We'll go to get your training complete. mastery. Orders. 
Still Let's getting anything yet. We're gaining some experience, but nothing crazy. Ooh, yeah. Preaching shot. Hell yeah. Complete. So glitch is now a Lancer. That worked. Training confirmed, Perfect. Commander. Okay. I don't think there are any more contracts to do in this system. Look anyway. Yep, perfect. Good. Uh, I don't think there was anything else to buy in the store that we wanted. But we'll look anyway. Yeah, nope, it's just a bunch of crap. Okay. Engineering ship upgrades. We're still... Okay, we still have that upgrade in progress. Uh, I don't think there are any other weird mech builds we wanted to do. I could put the small pulse laser on the Victor. That actually might be worth doing. Because we really... Well, no, we still use our jump jets pretty pretty often. We just don't have a good option for that. I may as well keep that. All right. Yep. Let's go to the star map. Let's go to Herodotus. Let's try and get ourselves a Marauder. By your command. And But either way, no matter what's going on in Herodotus, unless there are some really great missions to do there, we're going to go to Smithen right after this. But this will be good. By the time we get to Herodotus, the repair scaffolding will be done. Plus, our training simulator will continue to work up our really inexperienced pilots. And um, so one of the, the main reason we're going to be... Number one, we need to liberate Smithen anyway for the campaign purpose, just because you're not going to get anywhere unless you're conquering territory to uh, overthrow the Directorate. But Smithen's leader uh, of House Carosas is uh, somewhat of a technologist um, and... Lady Kamea thinks that he might be able to decrypt that storage archive. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hey, boss. That, just um, those upgrades. That uh, Dr. Murad found. And so, story-wise, those are some of the things that are going to start coming together once we liberate Smithen. First things first. Let's look at the store. And, of course, there's... Yeah, yeah they're going to give us more hammer salvage, but not, uh, not Marauder salvage. That's very unfortunate. But that's oh okay, we could buy a large laser though, and we could get our blackjack back to what it was. Actually, let's buy an extra let's buy an extra large laser here. You know, I'm actually kind of inclined to buy this LRM ten as well. Finally, we get we're getting some Finally get yeah, I'll pass on the crit SRM six. If we got it in Savage, it'd be one thing, but uh, but you could see why I opted for the victor. And not the Marauder or the Warhammer, because the others are just, they're just so unreliable to get. It's, um, it's, it's very unfortunate. Commander. Hmm. I think we're okay with our stable of pilots. Well, let's go to our, uh, let's take a look at the contracts. Let's see if there are any good contracts. Who knows? There might be a good couple, couple of good contracts. Ah, yep. Uh... So stop the signal. So that's a destroyed base. Hmm. So that's destroy base. We might be able to do that. This is an assassination mission. We could do we could do that. And that's local government. We like we like doing those. We're settling a grudge, huh? We could just destroy a Capellan Lance. Why don't we do this war criminal? Yeah, let's do a couple of let's do just a couple of these before we get on to Smithen. Because who knows, maybe there's going to be some marauders in here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? So we do get a little sidetracked sometimes in this game. But we'll do a couple of these. We'll just kind of... We'll chill. We'll chill a little bit and we'll blow up some mechs. We'll do two of these missions. Plus then our sea build situation will be much more comfortable. Maybe with that we could add to the med... Um, the beta pod. Once we expand that, because that's going to cost us, I think that costs 900,000 sea bills alone. So if we do this and we get paid only for a confirmed kill. So theoretically, if we really wanted to, we could probably get away with just killing our main target. All right, so we're going after our war criminal. They're going to be supported by these assholes. Oh, that's a quick draw. Um, so it's a hit and run. So we could just kill the target and get out, or we can fight everything. In my experience, though, we're probably not good enough to do enough damage 
So the ambushers are over here, the local government forces are over here, and the war criminals up here in that quick draw. So what we probably want to do here, all right, and this mountain's in the middle at least, but depending on what's here, they could attack us with that. So let's... All right, so we're going to advance here. We're going to go to this high ground, and we're going to try and destroy these guys over here. That's how we're going to... That's how we're going to do this. You betcha. Position Oop. confirmed. Yeah, it didn't take long. Shit. I thought I'd get further than that. That, that really sucks. Uh, <laughs> that really sucks. Fuck. Okay, well... Our first surprise. This looks like a prime spot for an ambush. Be careful, yeah. Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. No, no, Darius, I don't. Although in a way, it's good that they got us here because we could theoretically start withdrawing. Waiting for the shot. We might even want to do that. Wonder what that is. Yep, I was just about to say. I'm guessing that's a Shadowhawk. Wow, you managed to hit with that AC5. Lucky shot with all that evasion I had. Okay, so standing by. I think what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna unload into this Shadowhawk. <laughs> the advantage of that archer, the ability to just put a lot of damage into things at long range. Orders. I think we're going to go here. Yeah, let's set up over here. Coordinates received. I wonder how many ambushers there are. Got it. Good, that hit. Perfect. Converted on severe damage to that guy. Yep, this ship begins. That was an LRM-10, it looked like. Damage minimal. Not too bad. Nice try. Uh. Yeah, that's the only problem. That's the only problem. If I go here. That's a much better decision. All right, you go to those woods. And fire. What are my options? I don't think I'm going to have many good options. Oh, I could just go there and shoot at you. All right, let's do it. Now at least I'm in cover. All Goodbye. All right, that worked out. Enemy mech destroyed. Takes care of that. Ah, there are three of them. Okay. All right, so it probably is three, three, and one. Jenner, that can that can hurt us. Shoot at the blackjack. That's also another good strategy is to have them shoot at a bunch of your different mechs. Uh, and I know that sounds kind of obvious, but you don't want them only doing damage to one fucking mech the what entire time. You? I can't make it to cover over there. I think I'll just stay here and... I think I'll just stand and shoot. Let's see, what's next? 30 tons? That might... That might be a javelin. Standing by. Yeah, I like the idea of being over here now. Although, if I go here... Yeah, not a lot of great anyway. I may as well go over here and be in better position. Probably wasn't hitting with those medium lasers anyway. Yeah, all right. I'm going to have to have her cool off with the AC-10 because the recoil is really becoming a problem. I wonder if that's our assassination target shooting at us, but I don't think so. The quick draw should have more LRMs than that. Aye, aye. Let's 
position confirmed. Your position here. And all things considered, yeah, we like hitting with more. Locked on target. Good. Reporting critical hit. And now that it doesn't have any of its fucking evasion anymore, it'll be much easier for me to hit. Advance. Let's see, what's the recoil on that? Refire plus one. I think we could still do it. Fire. There we go. Problem solved. Same thing. I'll have both Renegade and Behemoth not shoot their auto cannons next turn. Let the that recoil penalty calm down a little bit. Because each subsequent turn you fire it, it's going to have an additional plus one penalty. And much like the tabletop, plus penalties are negative or are, are bad, and negative penalties make it easier to hit. So they, they kept the nomenclature, which I thought was kind of neat. Sure. Uh, Rather just go up here. Yeah, let's go after the spider. I can't believe the spider's a 30 ton mech. The spider is just terrible. Copy that. I know I said I was gonna recharge with the auto cannon, but then I was like, eh, precise shot. Fuck it. YOLO. <laughs> Good. Yep, fire at her. That's perfect. And of course, each turn we're engaged in here in this little skirmish. Waiting on you, Commander. In this, uh, in this action over here. Yeah, let's do it. Fire. The uh, ambushers are moving closer to us every turn. And presumably our ambush target, our war criminal, although our war criminal might just be staying where they are. Yeah, 65 tons, huh? Got an LRM of some sort. I wonder what that is. Could be a Jager mech. There's a Jager mech variant that has an LRM, but it doesn't feel like. It doesn't feel like a Jager mech to me. Mech destroyed. Oh, so that was one of the ambushers. <laughs> Makes sense that the spider would be one of the first ambushers to make it, though. All right, so let's sensor lock that. Let's just answer the question of what is it? Ah, it is a Jager mech. All right. Answers that question. But we've scrambled its sensors. So that's helpful. And despite the fact that he scrambled its sensors, it hit with just about everything. Motherfucker. That's so, that's so aggravating. It's like, why did I even... I don't even... Ugh, whatever. Waiting for orders. Let's at least move. So you do move. Oh. Yeah. All right. Shit, if we're going to do that, I may as well move back. No. 80% or... Eight, well, gee, 80% or 80%. Fine. Let's just move you back a little bit. Don't need to tell me twice. Yeah, let's get you a little out of there because that Jager mech can do some damage. You've already taken enough damage. Dang you a little bit. So the Jagermech is a nice offensive weapon if it could just stay at range, kind of like the Archer, where it could stay at range and just do a bunch of damage. Because for the most part, the Jagermech, which is kind of like a poor man's... Wow, that actually had two LRM-15s. Uh, it didn't seem like that many, but okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, all of these are long-range weapons. So that Jagermech could put a lot of damage round after round after round. Um, but it's armor for a heavy mech. It's only got 640 total armor. That's really not that much for a heavy mech. Receiving you. I think for, for comparison's sake, my my Centurion, a medium mech, has more armor Roger. than that. Or at least the same, right? I had 680. Yeah, my Centurion has more armor than, uh, than this Jager mech does. Engaging with target. I should have recharged, actually. 
I definitely need to recharge the AC-10 after this. <laughs> uh, that's amazing that I managed to hit with that. And yeah, we get some more ambushers attacking. So this is turning into, this is turning into a cert, this is definitely turning into a battle here. Receiving you. Yep, we're going to stay right there. Yeah, 70% will take that. There we go, goodbye. I think I hit something good. And just like that, it also just lost, lost half of its offensive punch. Because the LRMs and the uh, AC-2, they're mounted on the arms. So if you blow off an arm, oh shit. Damn it. Must have been all the one location. Armor breached. Internal damage. Yep, the left arm again. Whatever. Fine. Yeah, I'll just stay right here. Actually. Fine. Stirred. Engaging jump jet. Let's just try to end this quick. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like that, bastard. But good, now everything's going to be attacking its right side, and my armor has been breached on the left. So that was the other reason to go up there and only attack from over there. Now let's just go up and try to kill... Uh, take out this Jager mech here. Good, more damage. There we go. Yeah, critical hit. Although I'm surprised the Jager mech lasted as long as it has. No, oh, we got more ambushers coming in. Oh shit. That hunchback could really fuck us up. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. For orders. Okay. Be fine. Let's finish off the Jager mech. Aye, aye. Yeah, that was my fault. I shouldn't have fired it. I just wanted to knock it down if I could. Oh, and I couldn't even... Yeah, because I couldn't knock it down with the AC-10. I really should have. But yeah, that, that hunchback is terrifying. We have to destroy that hunchback as soon as we can. Okay, so... Now we've got some tension. <laughs> This mission just became interesting. Fortunately, the hunchback is well protected. For orders. So I'm thinking let's knock down or destroy Locked the Jager mech. At the very least, we're knocking it over. All right. So at the very least, the Jager mech's knocked over, knocked down. Actually, the we may have just destroyed. We may have taken that guy out. Because we blew off both torsos. Yep, we just incapacitated the pilot. That works for me. That does, in fact, work for me. We need them attacking the Centurion and the Archer at this point. Ha! Send me a real opponent! Actually, in pretty decent shape otherwise. Let's do that. Let's jump over here and I'll sensor lock the hunchback in the vain hope. So what I'm going to try and do is get the victor back towards where everybody else is rather than us all being very spread apart. And let's scramble the hunchback sensors and make it less likely that auto cannon 20 hits. The last thing we need is that fucking AC 20 hitting. Thank God it missed. Okay. Whew. Okay. Waiting for orders. So, uh, yeah, that was obviously bad. Left arm. Okay, so let's do that. Moving to position. Show our well armored side to them. Yep, show our well armored side. Uh yes, we are going to absolutely try and hit with as much as we can here 
Okay, well, we melted a bunch of armor off. The Shadowhawk is a good mech, but it's not as terrifying as the as that hunchback. Good to go. Yep. Roger that. Make ourselves a nice juicier target. I think we'll just fire with this though. Pretty good hit. That's the hit there. Don't hit the arm. Don't hit the arm. Don't hit the arm. Thank God. What do you need? Yes. <laughs> And I think so, yes. I cop. Good, we might just destroy the hunchback. Yes, we did. Good. Alright, cool. Thank God. We managed to destroy that mech before it even hit it hit with its AC20. Now oh, we got a 70 ton mech. That's probably an Orion. Reporting light damage. Okay. Right, it's the yeah, right arm. Yep, that's what we want to be facing with that. Uh Okay, so you know what? Maybe I'll just reposition over this way. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to reposition here real quick. I think that's a good plan. Stacy 20, it's got I only have so much ammo with that and I know I've been firing with it. Of course, it's not going to show me what the penalty is right now. That part kind of sucks. There it goes. Okay. Oh, is it not going to... Did I not fire the AC-20 last time? Oh, you know what? I didn't fire the AC-20 last time. I did sensor lock. Right. So... All right. Fine. It's probably just because it's at long range and it's high, heavy evasive. Let's do that then. Right arm. Yep. Good. Perfect. We got this guy spotting us anyway. Mm. Fuck it. Let's try for it. There we go. Okay, so we just got these two ambushers left and then our war criminal. Who's in a quick draw of all things. Quick draw is a heavy mech that jumps. Minimal damage on that hit. Commander? Yeah, let's just fire at you. There we go. Putting a lot of damage in there. Damn. Keep shooting at the victor. That's what freaks me out, man. Except for the left arm, though. It should be okay. Commander. What's um, up, boss? Yeah. yeah, let's just hold tight here. Just hold tight. Fire. Firing a full salvo. There we go. That hit something good. Curious to see what this is going to be that's going to join us. Whoa. Well, that was bad. Ready for orders. Let's try to take out this uh, Shadowhawk here. Roger that. All right, fine. I should be able to take it out next. Got past his armor. I should be able to take it out at this point now. Should really be able to take this guy out. Damn. All right, but we still got him. We're almost done with the ambushers here. Enemy mech destroyed. Now they can't even target my two more damaged mechs. 
This thing's gonna have to come within range. Really? I wonder if that's a rifleman. Because I can't identify them, but they're still shooting at me. That's gotta be a rifleman. Yeah, although I don't- I didn't think riflemen were 70 tons. How the hell are they? Unless that one's got a rangefinder equipped, doing it? It could have a rangefinder equipped. Lovely. Waiting for orders. Fine, let's come here and see what this thing is. Ugh. On the move. Shit. I'm gonna stay in cover and have the archer go into the open field, though. Try and draw its fire. Grasshopper, huh? How is that? How are they seeing me? Interesting. All right. Well, whatever. Fine. Grasshopper is a pretty nasty mech, as you guys can see. So let's, uh... Yeah, let's do it. Locking in all weapon systems. Actually, I think the grasshopper is more of a danger to us than the, uh... Than the, um... More to a danger right, rather than the, uh... Than the quick draws. That grasshopper is the most dangerous mech on the field right now. Here we go. We'll do a little more damage to it. The real danger of the grasshopper is the fact that it has jump jets, so it can jump behind you and really start. Man, I can't believe it went after the black tie. Damn. All right, we're gonna have to really deal with this. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. <laughs> Yes, oh man, I love that line. Uh, all right, so we're not gonna do that for sure. 80, 80, how about you? We ever gonna get to a hit point where we're at 90? No, just 80. All right, that's probably gonna be our best bet. Let's, uh, let's do this. Coordinates received. See if we could draw its fire a little bit since the archer is the most well armored of our surviving mechs here. Got it. That's a lot of damage. Perfect. Good. Thank you. So, I like this plan. Arm. Yep, we'll take it. Engaging jump jets. Back. Good. Even though we hit the leg, that part kind of sucks, but oh well. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. The enemy's doing a good job of, uh, putting up a good fight. Man, that quick draw has just been able to stay at range and just shoot us the whole time. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Commander? Man. A lot of damage on that side. All right, so left arm is what's still kind of ticking here. Received. That side. Commencing alpha strike. Should start really doing some damage to this thing. Good. Got a heat sink. That's a critical hit. Yes, it is. Standing by. Pretty much all fucked up here. So. Yeah. Fuck it. Just stay and, stay and shoot. There we go. Nice shot. Now we just have to get to our quick draw here. That's interesting. It didn't, uh... That's very interesting. Okay. Well, let's do that jump back over here and we'll cool off yep let's see actually let's advance with you since you're Copy my that. most intact mech from all that action ah there's our quick draw hiding over there <laughs> there's our quick draw let's see Interesting. It gets to go even though it's a heavy mech? I've got two medium mechs. Wonder why it got to go first. It must I wonder unless it's a master tactician. That's kind of lame, but whatever. 
fine. Uh, yeah, let's just advance. We'll shoot at it from cover. Put a little way at it. Primary target damage, Commander. And it's already damaged, at least. Waiting and I know I didn't damage it. <laughs> I certainly didn't fucking do any damage to this thing. Perfect. Taking the shot. So it's evasion. Orders. Yep. Heading out. Going completely fuck it up, Medusa. Giving them everything I've got. Nice. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to run. That's a kiss. Second, this stupid fucker showed up. We wiped Mission it out. Successful. He could have done us a favor by just doing that at the start of the action, but oh well. At no given point were we under heavy fire from all of them, though. We were only under heavy fire from, you know, single of those lances. So that was that was as good a way to handle that as any. All right, we complete a mech here. So there's our Shadowhawk. We'll take Quick Draw Savage, and that looks ooh, uh, oh man. All right, you got to go with that plus. That's a that's a really nice AC5. Fuckers. We finally get some good medium lasers. All right, fine. Let's at least go with the... No. Yeah, we got to go with the lost tech here. It'll still give us mech salvage, but those are really valuable. Cool, it still gave us the Shadowhawk anyway. And it gave us the other medium laser. Very nice. That was a fantastic mission from a salvage standpoint. Um, I almost didn't want to do that before Smithin at first, just because I wanted to get to the campaign mission. But ultimately that was, that was time extremely well spent. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Yep, it's going right to storage. So we're going to the store and we're selling it. Right fucking now. Yep, sell the Locust, sell the Shadowhawk. Perfect. All right, bye. Uh, is there anything else that we really needed? No, but we're back up above a good level. Uh, I really don't, yeah, do we really want to do this battle? Let's, let's get to, let's, let's get to Smithin before it gets too late, because it's already 1030. Unless, uh, well, shit. I don't know. Maybe I should just do this. Maybe I should just do this mission and do Smith in at the on the next stream. Um, shit, man. I ended up just having fun doing these other missions and uh, getting some salvage and some sea bills, and didn't get right to Smith in. Um, as far as chat's concerned, do you guys have a preference? Should I do Smith in or uh, you want to see this settling a grudge battle? Uh, in the meantime, let's go to the mech bay while I make that decision. Um, would be fun to see what your, What's what up, your boss? guy's input is. Commander? Let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go with the indirect fire. Well, now nah, let's go with the health. Let's keep you alive. Confirmed, Commander. Orders. Hacker. Yep. Uh, gunnery for sure. Mech warrior training complete. What's up, boss? Perfect. Good. We can training you complete. up. Aye, aye. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yep. Yes. Training confirmed. Now you'll go in the medium phase. That is wonderful. Let's give Mech you a little extra health. Standing by. And you can't do anything really. All right, so let's let's get to Smithin. Uh, it would be fun to do that contract, but let's let's get to Smithin. I I intended to do Smithin today. Let's. Let's get to smithing. Let's refit this. Let's repair, and we'll also remove these two medium lasers, and we will put uh, this medium laser on, and we'll put that medium laser on. So now we do a little extra damage, and we'll also have a much better chance to hit, which is always good. I could add that small pulse laser, but I'd have to remove something in order to make it fit. I don't think I'm going to pull that off here, but that would be nice. 
small pulse laser would weigh a ton. So I'd probably have to pull off a heat sink to make that work. And... Although I could just pull a heat sink off and put a small pulse laser on this. But you really have to be close up to make that to make that work. I think for now, let's just... Shit, I almost don't necessarily want to do this because Smithen has a way of really messing you up, actually. You know what? That's a good point. You know what? That's a good point. We're going to discard those changes. Let's just repair. Let's just repair. But we will go here. You know, I'm going to counteract myself, but actually we're going to keep the AC2s for this build too. Because the next, the Smithen map itself lends itself well to uh, mechs that run a little cooler. And if I switch to large lasers, that's actually to a detriment for me. So let's just go to ship upgrades. Let's do habitat pods. Let's do the beta pod. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. And now we go here and we're going to do smithing. We'll still make a million sea bills. Roger that. We're going to be in good shape. Course plotted. All right. Now we're finally onto the campaign mission I've been threatening to do all night long. That work order you submitted is complete. I thought we would be able to get a marauder before we did this, but then the brakes. We'll try and put together a Marauder next stream. Which will most likely be Sunday night. I don't know if we'll do another campaign mission Sunday night, but we'll we'll at the very least uh we'll hunt around for a Marauder Sunday night and see if see if we could do that. Cruising through Panzer here. Ah, lovely jump ship animations financials whenever you and are. more financials. But as you can see, we're we're even as we do missions, we pretty much keep up with things. There's obviously the bookkeeping aspect of it because you got to monitor your your max, your upkeep, upgrading the Argo. Upgrading the Argo is just a money sink. Um, but yeah, it, it does simulate. I feel like the game does simulate running a mech company pretty well. Actually, Mech Warrior 4... Hmm, pardon me. Mech Warrior 5 does that pretty well, too. Oh, God. <clears throat> okay, here we go. In navigation, Sumeri highlights a blinking red alert in the Argo's path. We've got some space junk in our way, Commander. Permission to blast it to dust with the Leopard? Debris, Dr. Murad cracks her. I recommend that we attempt to avoid it. Otherwise, you risk sending the debris in unexpected directions. You could damage our most vital systems and bays. Sumeria rolls her eyes. The Argo isn't exactly an agile ship. I mean, I'm good, but she's never going to turn on a dime. We've got about five minutes, roughly. We need a decision, Commander. So you could perform a standard evasive maneuver, deploy the Leopard to destroy the debris, or we're just going to force more power to the engines. We're going to force more power to the engines since we have that option. All right, nice. In coordinating with Sumire, Dr. Murad manages to squeeze some extra thrust from the power conduits. The Argo lurches forward with a burst of speed and the entire ship vibrates as if it might explode. Uh, though the extra power only lasts for a few minutes, the dropship evades the debris. After the Argo reaches a safe distance, Dr. Murad uh, reports into navigation over the comms. I'm still kind of shocked that actually worked. Strayed particles caused some superficial damage, but nothing too concerning. You made the right call, Commander. Damn right I made the right call. I always make the right call. Cheers echo down the halls of the Argo as the rest of the outfit return to their posts. Oh, cool, but we boosted our morale by two. That is a big deal. So we're going to get to Smith in here in four days here. And uh, this mission is a... This mission is a doozy. At least it can be. So yeah, we're, we're going to do this. And this will be a good place to end stream once we once we finish this mission. So we're going to have some plot. We've arrived at Smithing Manor, ready to proceed with our current contract. Yes, we are. We're going to go with these with these mechs and these configurations. Deploy.
I thought about switching out the Blackjack for the Shadowhawk, but we're just going to keep the Blackjack. I like the AC2s for this mission. I'm glad I did not blindly replace them with large lasers just yet. But after the mission's over, we're finally putting the Blackjack back to its original good configuration. All right. Oh, the Restoration Army has been locked in a stalemate with the Directorate for a few days now. In the end, it's going to come down to whichever side has the most ammo. So let's make sure it's ours. <laughs> Command interface oh, it didn't give us the... Uh... Oh, I guess it's going to give it to us here. Welcome to Smith and Commander. The bulk of our army is entrenched in the capital, exchanging fire with what's left of the Directorate's defense, or defense force. One of the things I like about this game is she's proven to be an, a capable commander. Like, we didn't have to do the campaign. She was like, yeah, we basically already kicked their ass up and down the valleys. Um, but the battle is leaning in our favor, but we're running low on ammunition. This is where you come in. The structure before you is a munitions dump that, direct, that the Directorate stole from House Corrosis. I need you to take it back. Find all hostile units and eliminate them. Our combat support staff will handle the rest. I've highlighted several optional objectives for you on this mission that all pay equally well. Saving some of the ammunition that's already packaged for transport will earn you a bonus payment. If you manage to preserve the bulk of the ammunition, you will receive a second cumulative payment. Finally, I will pay you a bounty for any directorate transports you manage to destroy during the engagement. This one, this last objective, is pretty tricky to do. This assignment comes with risks. Yes, it does. Uh, the facility is heavily guarded. Yes, it is. And if any of those munition crates come under fire, the resulting explosion will deal heavy damage to anything caught in the blast. This includes directorate units, so feel free to target the crates yourself, but know that you may be sacrificing a bonus in so doing. Good hunting, Commander. Take out those battle mechs and mind the crates. All right. So, the first objective for us is there's a turret at the top of this tower. We need to destroy that turret immediately so we're gonna jump here engaging jump jets enemy detected thinking i will sprint here and get into cover with this because we also have a mech up here that needs to be dealt with plus if we're over here we at least have some degree of cover from a lot of the turrets and mechs that are over here that are just going to start shooting at us. So at least if we're somewhat behind this, this mountain here, we're somewhat protected from the turrets. But we will have to get down in this pool and deal with this shit in a second. I definitely want Medusa over here. I want that archer over here where I could just fire with impunity. Behemoth, I may, I may sprint her over here, and at least with that amount of evasion, I should be okay. Just don't like, just don't, uh, all right. Let's do that and hope for the best. Move order received. All hands on deck. We are under attack. This is not a drill. Because this mineral field should help me at least avoid some of the counteracting fire. <laughs> well, it's nice that it blew, hit its own building instead of me. The fire starter is the big problem over here. Yep, that spider is going to be a problem, but it's not all that well defended at this point. So that part is good. I think we go up here and we just destroy this fucking turret as soon as possible. Yeah, this mission could get really bad really quick. Okay, 97, so I just need to do 100 points of damage to it. So, four versus that. All right, so. As long as nothing misses the turret, this is the way to go. Uh-huh. Perfect, good. Destroys the turret. 
And we'll eva get rid of that evasion pip. And do a little damage to the spider. That works. Okay. This, this could get, this is, can you, this usually turns into one hell of a fight. <laughs> to, to say the least. Uh, yeah. so you, let's see. Actually, I'm thinking the LRM turret is what I should be t focusing on here. Rather than the spider. Yep. We're going to shoot the LRM turret first. Because this LRM turret will just shred you. Otherwise. I've had missions where I couldn't get to that turret. And it just shot the ever-living shit out of me. <laughs> round after round after round. Destroy. And it has indirect fire, so even if you have cover over here, it's still hitting you. Uh, let's reserve, because I definitely want I Behemoth copy. taking advantage of that evasion as long as possible. And I'm pretty sure there's a Jager mech back there. Let's... I think I'm going to do that. And what I'll probably try to do is either precise shot on something or maybe even shoot at that turret. Let's see what happens. Let's jump. Engaging jump jets. Let's see what's going to happen here. All right. A locust, which is shit, or we've got a light LRM turret. Yeah, 90. I think I'm going to have to just shoot the turret here. Those do 40 damage, even if everything hits. Yeah, we can't we can't destroy it all with just that. So, yeah, let's take out the turret. All weapons committed. And we shot it with everything else just in case the AC-20 missed. Target destroyed. Orders. OK, let's get behind the building at least, give you some cover. That's over there. Uh, I think this is actually the best cover. Yeah, we'll just we'll just shoot at the fire starter, I think. That is probably the best plan. Location confirmed. Hopefully the fire starter engages the centurion. Though I could precise shot it, but I think that's a waste when it's only taking half damage. So let's just fire at it a little bit. Plus, we were all hitting its left side anyway. It's sort of like a free one. All right, that supply truck's running with a full load of ammunition. Don't let it escape. The problem is these uh, mobile HQs, they're fairly heavily armored and they do move pretty fast. It begins, but it did in fact go after the Centurion, which I wanted. So what I'll do now is I'll have the Centurion just advance and hit, hit it. There. That Panther could be a problem. And as soon as the Directorate puts even two or even ideally three mechs in the si around a, one of those crates, I will be blowing one of those crates up to do a lot of damage to a bunch of mechs, but I don't like doing that if it's just one mech near one of the crates. Or unless it's glitch and I can multi-shot. But right now, hell, that one's not even in one of the crate areas. But hopefully these three will come into this one and I can just blow this one up. Yeah, and now that one's basically almost gone already. It's really hard to destroy the uh, the vehicles. It, it just is. But now you can see why a mech would get really fucked up because you have, there's just so there's just so much. There's so many turrets. There's so many mechs. Yep, I got to already withdraw. I was gonna try to engage it, but it, it's just it's too crazy over there already. 
good to go. Yep, I gotta, I gotta bug out a little bit. Uh, let's see, you're mostly damaged on the right side, so if I'm over here on the left, uh, yeah, it's all on the right side. Yep, all on the right side. All right, fine. I'll just come up here and I'll just shoot the fire starter on my way out. <sighs> and I'll try and re-engage a little bit later. I got a little too ambitious over there with that. That's the side to kind of try to go for anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm just going to shoot you with that and save the LRM-10. Oh, come on, Behemoth. You got to be hitting with that. Shit. And of course, anytime you miss with your primary weapon, it just makes the battle that much harder. Okay. Now I might be shooting at one of those crates. I might have glitched fire at that crate back there. That will probably help things. What can I do for you? Right, so let's let's cruise up. Ah, uh, damn it! They're still not over there with it. If they just come a little bit closer. <sighs> Shit. All right, I'll probably just shoot at this locust. Yeah, I probably will just shoot at the locust. Although I could fire at the panther just to try to draw its fire a little bit probably what I ought to do all right let's do it let's just advance up here commander moving out shoot at the locust at least I'll be in position to shoot that next turn although that's 60 turn that's 60 tons maybe I should just maybe I should just shoot that one ammo crate and be done with it rather than play games with this and just save this crate for if these guys get a little closer. You know what? Fine. Multi-shot. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do this. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Some damage to the Locust. Nothing crazy. Munitions crate down. And we just did probably severe damage to that 60 ton mech, whatever it was. We will take that. Unfortunately, this would be the time to shoot at that vehicle. No, it's only 25 tons, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling shooting at the fire starter at the moment. I'm going to shoot at that panther with the archer. Yeah, the spider's just too hard to hit at the moment, but I will definitely fire at that. Take a shot. And the next turn I might just, when I need the archer to cool down, that's when I'll come up and I'll just hit it with melee. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, let's go up here. Problem is the fire starter can fire at me next turn. And that would be a problem heat wise, but I don't think it would overheat. So let's, let's try and do this. Let's go for it. All right. Well, we hurt it really badly. Enemy mech. Critical damage. We actually, detected. yeah, another supply truck. <laughs> yeah, destroy. So one of, one of the things I think that gets people in trouble with this mission is they think that this is an essential mission objective, and they overcommit to try to get out these ar ammo crates. Sometimes it, it's just too hard to do. Um, sometimes I've been able to do it. So what I'll do is I'll sensor lock it, and then I'll have the archer, if I have an archer, shoot LRMs at it and destroy it. But with so much going on, like especially right now, I can't be the only one of my pilots that has sensor lock is Renegade. So I'm not wasting his turn to sensor lock that that mobile HQ. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is going to be one of those very textbook things where we accomplish everything. Now, I have done it before, um, but that's kind of what's involved is you really just have to um, heavy damage prioritize keeping all of the munitions depot shit under control 
and uh, dealing with the mobile HQ is a very secondary objective. Yeah, I'm just... They're really concentrating on this Centurion at the moment. My armor. All right. Yep, rear shot. Oh, wow. You should have shot me from the rear, but that's okay. Warning. Armor low. Hopefully I'll be able to get Behemoth on the other side of that hill. And I could just have her support with LRM fire for a little bit. Although what I could do is I could at this point start just withdrawing and see if I could pull these mechs more over this way. See if I can uh, try to have a fight. Shit. Well, that's all right. That's the arm, to, if you wanted to, if you had to pick an arm to lose on the Centurion, that's the arm you want to lose. Of course, now that torso is very exposed. Damn it. Yeah, now I, now I'm really in trouble. Um, but there's, there are strategies where you could try to get all of them to just slowly come up in there. But again, unless you just, unless you destroy those turrets, that's a, that's not a strategy. Oh, fuck. Come on. Thank you. Jesus. And of course, they all go before you. Like, Order. almost always. Um, Christ on a cracker, man. Uh, fucking hell. Oh, I lost my LRM-10. Oh, shit. All right, you know what? Let's sprint, get the fuck over here for right now. Get over here, and then I'll worry about you. Roger, full speed. Yeah, just, just pull out for a minute, Behemoth, and let me get this under control. So once they forget about you, you'll, you'll be okay. I don't want to lose the pilot. Ah, dragon. And of course it stops just in front of the ammo explosion area. You know, the thing that would actually make my life easier. Warning. Armor breached. It's just, there's just so many mechs. Um, like it gets, it gets, like this, this shit you, goes, is completely out of control. Um, this shit goes, Fucking bananas. <sighs> Alright, I need to wait for them to try to come in here and then I can just destroy this ammo crate and hopefully do some damage to these guys and hopefully they come towards it. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to attack, be able to attack these guys. Alright, we're going to do this because I'm overheating because it's also a desert biome and you overheat like it's nobody's business. This is going to be good. There we go. Alright, so at least we did some damage with that. This always sucks so much. All right, I'm actually going to come into view here. It's normally not the best idea, but at this point I am going to, because I don't want them only firing on the victor. I think what I should do is to try to focus, since that dragon is nice and damaged. All weapons fire. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Target's taking a critical hit. Man, that dragon has almost no armor left. All right, let's Let's do that. So I'm overheating like a motherfucker. Engaging physical attack. There we go. Ah, uh, not as much as I would have liked, but oh well. Did we knock it over? Ah, what if Too bad we didn't knock it over. That's bad. It looked like I was going to be sideways to everything, not my back to it. Oh, shit. All right. Well, it should still prevent the archer from taking structure damage, but that's good. Let it fire on other things. Okay. I got an idea, you guys. Walk into the crate areas. <laughs> Come on. Locust is just going to hide out in that minefield. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. Damn it. Well, it might still be in that area. Shit. No, it should still be in the area of effect. All right. I'm going to be shooting at that crate then with glitch. 
Yep. Should be good to go. Yeah, we'll be able to at least damage three mechs here. That got through my armor, Commander. I know, I know. An enemy transport has escaped. Yeah, I at this point, this mission's not going well enough to worry about the transports. <laughs> oh man. Transports are going. Fucking Griffin. Griffin is always a problem. Because it could just sit back there and shoot that PPC all fucking day. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't leave. Stay there. Damn it. How did the cicada go in this round? Damn it. Urgh. I still think we got to shoot. Yeah, that's such bullshit, man. That I should have been able to go with glitch for orders. Uh, in that, but oh well. All right, all right, that's fine. Let's go back up this way. At this point, I'm not even worried about locations. We're taking so much damage right now anyway. <sighs> what am I shooting at? I think I should go for the spider. It's lightly damaged. Everything else, maybe I'll shoot that. You know what? Maybe I will shoot at the dragon. Let's try and take out the dragon, actually. Uh, yeah, let's try and take out the dragon. So, one of those. Just in case it misses. I do not want to miss. Affirmative. Come on. Try and kill the dragon here. Well, we didn't. It's all right. There we go. Okay. Right down, Commander. Good. All right. Commander. So. All right. Maybe that's what I should do. But oh, my God. Let's do that. Let's at least shoot at the fucking crazy ass unless there's another target to shoot at it really isn't so yeah i think that's probably where i should stay because i can only shoot at it with that anyway so let's just go here actually let's go here. do that and we'll aim at that direction actually you know what i'll shoot at the dragon because at least that if i hit it i might kill it yeah, that's the better shot. We'll take it. Of course, you miss. Only an 80% chance to hit. Fuck. Yep. All right. I think... Yep. Let's just try to take out the dragon. That should kill the dragon. It does, yeah. It's a shame Behemoth didn't hit. Behemoth really should have hit it, and that all that ordnance should have gone into the Griffin. That would have helped make life a little easier. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm about to lose my left arm. So that's obviously not good. I don't think there's anything else over here. So, yeah, let's just turn in this direction. And now the question is... What do I try to kill? What do I try to destroy here? I think I try to destroy that fire starter. I think we can. Although if I shoot this locust, I probably kill the fucker. Let's try and get this under control. Well, yeah. I'd rather hit this for sure. All yeah. Half of their fighting units down. Keep this up and the facility is ours. So thankfully, we dealt with a lot of those turrets. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. We're about to do get some damage here. Yep. We didn't shut down. Thank God. This heat is cooking my internal structure. I know, buddy. I know. Oh, that's such shitty luck. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injuries. Now I'm really glad I didn't put those medium lasers into the victor, though. 
transport has escaped. Shut up. We don't even care about the transports, Kamea. <laughs> the problem is we haven't even get really had a chance to engage the Griffin yet. That's that's obviously a problem. Yeah, this mission is always just really, really hard. Um, and you can see why. There's just there's just so much going on. Careful, they're looping around back. That's actually where I'm. Oh, really? Fuck. I'm losing weapon systems. Yeah, I know, I know. Orders. Let's uh, let's go after this fire starter. Since you're cooking. Ugh. Oh, come on! You can't be missing, man. <laughs> Targeting systems, janky. Can't be missing like that, bro. We're all overheating. That's the problem. Sucks to hit it over on this side. All right, but we at least knocked it down. <sighs> oh, I should have glit. Yeah, all right. You know what? Fuck. Receiving you. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to shoot that ammo crate. I know we're going to lose a little money, but we will, in one fell swoop, we will severely damage that griffin. Some losses were to be expected, but we need as many of those crates as you can recover. That's fine. salvage what's left. It sucks because that was a lot of nice money, but that's that's a lot of damage that this fucker just took. It was obviously needed. All right, well, the rest of me that's still here isn't all that fucked up, so... It's a shame to be down, uh, those weapons, but oh well. Would have been nice to have kept the arm, but can't be helped. Uh, I think we... Yeah, I'm... I know it's silly to do that, but we go for mech kills here. We don't fuck around. I definitely didn't want that fire starter getting up and doing more damage to me. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I know. I know. So, yes, good news here. Let's, uh... Commander? Okay. So let's... One thing we can do here, we're going to have... We're going to have Glitch back up, and because of the Cicada's positioning, we're going to shoot it right in the back. And maybe... Got it. Come on, can we get through it? Yes! Good. All right. Now we're getting control of the situation. It sucks to have lost an ammo crate, but oh well. Oh, fuck! Reporting internal I did not know you could even shoot at me from there, but fine. Since you did, I'll at least shoot back. Location confirmed. I'm at least gonna fire back, bastard. Got it. Aye, aye. All right. Uh, I am still overheating like a madman. So let's do that, Copy that while we cool off. This time, really cooling off. My weight into it. Oh my god, you guys suck. You have 90% chance to hit with that. How are you missing so often? No luck. The RNG is really, really fucking with me now. Uh, let's see. Say shot? Yeah, I think so. Low if I move. And get some cover at least. We're gonna hit anyway. I don't know if I like this plan, but let's do it. Let's at least get to some cover finally. Yep, and fire. There we go. I don't think that it was anything particularly useful on that arm. Shit. I just went into a range of a turret over there. I gotta get away from that. Glitch has to move immediately. <laughs> Didn't even know that turret was over there. Shit, there's the leg. It's alright. 
You'll be all right. Uh, I think, yeah, let's take another shot and try and hit the griffin. There we go. You're unsteady now, bastard. Oh, I'm getting you to... All right, I will take that. Good to go. Hmm. Vision shot. Yep. Fine. I'm on it. You're not safe up there, Griffin. <laughs> go fuck yourself. How'd that taste? <laughs> Oh my god, I missed so much. <laughs> Ghosty. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, for... And you know what? This mission actually isn't going as bad as it sometimes can go. Uh, yeah, this is the big one. I mean, I, I always post these to, um, to YouTube. So, uh, yeah, if you want some uh, entertainment, because what I'll do is I'll, I'll mark the Smith and Matt mission as in a, in a chapter. So uh, it'll be easy if you want to see the whole Smith and Mission. The rest of it was just me goofing around um, and warming up. Good to go. So yeah, we need to stand up and we need you to move over here immediately. And wow, yeah, that's gonna suck a lot. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah, let's just go over here and we'll shoot. Yeah, we'll shoot the down Griffin. Um, but yeah, Smith and no, yeah, no. you too. <laughs> I love you, Ghosty. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, no, we, we've been having a good time. We've been having a good time. Uh, but, yeah, we're trying to wrap up the Smith mission. So, uh, this is the mission that um, people on the, on the Battletech community frequently have a hard time with. So, um, and that's, that's pretty normal. And that's one of the reasons why I was doing a bunch of missions to build up my mechs, to have better mechs and everything else. If you can imagine trying to do this mission without a literal assault mech and a heavy mech is a very tall order. It can be done, but it's, it's, it's pretty hard to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go after this guy with extreme prejudice. Um, and yeah, pretty much all our mechs always get, I found it on your channel page. <laughs> nice. Excellent. There we go. We've finished off the Griffin. Take it out and this facility is ours. All right. So we only got this one spider left. Amazingly enough, the fucking spider from the beginning is still here and is the last one. Oh my God. my armor. Waiting for orders. We're gonna go here and we will try to got shoot it. at the fucking spider. Oh my god. But at least so far, fingers crossed, we haven't lost a uh we haven't lost a pilot. Firing on target. Although we've taken a shit ton of damage, but uh we haven't lost Critical a pilot. Fight, All of our pilots are pretty hurt. Ready for orders. We even hit you? Fine. Yeah. Moving out. Why not? Low percentage shots, all of them, but fuck it. Fuck this guy. Fuck this asshole. I think it'd be pretty funny to get for her to get the final killing Locking blow. On there we go. <laughs> she gets her revenge. Alright. And we at least got one of the bonuses. So, uh, good job, Commander. With the supplies you just secured for us, our battle mechs will shatter the Directorate's battle line. Smithen will be liberated, now and forever. And Lord Corosus will be grateful. Not to put too fine a point on it, but we do need his help. And we shall have it. I'll arrange an audience with him directly. Enjoy your victory, Commander. You've earned it. Mission successful. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, in a wrap-up, there are a couple of strategies. If you can destroy the turrets fast enough and get behind those mountains fast enough, you can have a fight in the valley south of the munitions depot in a much better, more advantageous scenario, but it gets a little difficult once you already are bogged down 
uh, especially once there's cover in that water there in the desert environment. It's like, you know what? Sometimes you're just better in the rough and tumble of it and doing as much damage and letting some of the crates do some of the damage. Um, so yeah, we made a million, 300,000 sea bills, uh, and we saved three ammo crates, so at least we got one of them. Unbelievably, I have managed to do this mission with accomplishing all the objectives, but it really takes a lot of sacrificing doing damage early to have one of your pilots sensor lock the mobile HQ because they move so fast. Uh, and then have a missile boat blow it up once it's already out of uh, sensor range. Most of the time, that's what happens anyway. Uh, at least I have not found a good way other than that to take out the uh, ammo deliveries before they get to the dropship. I mean, there are, like you guys saw, there is another turret up there that has uh, access to you. So if you commit to that, now you're getting shot at with the LRM turrets. I'm not sure how you would really get to do that other than other than that. But it can be done, but anyway. So yeah, three of my pilots are injured. Three of my men, oh, <laughs> this Centurion in particular really got damaged. It's a fucking miracle that uh, we didn't lose Behemoth there because that shit was bad. Only Medusa managed to get out of that with only minimal structural damage. I wonder what, uh, and how, oh, he got heated up by the, uh, by the fire starter. So that's how some of that internal structure damage got cooked. But he didn't get all that damaged. But yeah, this mech got really fucked up. Glitch lost a leg, an arm. I lost an arm. <laughs> it was just it that 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 mission always is a uh, is an adventure. Well, we'll take the plus flamer. We will take the plus medium laser because we always take lost tech above anything else. Let's take the dragon salvage, and I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else. We could take the griffin. But I'd rather have the dragon, it's more valuable. And maybe we'll get Griffin Salvage anyway. Oh, we got the Griffin Salvage anyway. So that what Butch been butchered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so now we're gonna get some uh some plot, and then we'll lick our wounds and uh and see what we could do with uh with some of this shit. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was Smithin. And uh boy is it a doozy. It's a doozy every time. Um you should if you're ever playing this game and going through it, my advice is always just just kind of expect to get to get a little roughed up on Smithin. Uh, I think the last time I did do that, I don't even know if I took any structural damage and I'm not even sure how I managed to pull that off. But um, I mean, I kind of went away with my plan here where I tried to take out the turrets first and pull back, but I ended up getting sucked in. So that was part of how that that got awry. But at that point, I think we were just in the ruffled tumble of it, and it was like, you know what, fuck it, it's on, let's just try to, let's just try to do it. Um, so anyway, my Lord Carosas, what a pleasure it is to see your face again. Long did you serve, House Serrano, and long were you a friend to me. Your loyalty and wisdom are remembered to this day. Spare me the pleasantries, lapdog. You're here because your mistress needs something. Isn't that light, Lady Arano? Go on, speak for yourself. You don't need a Madeira to speak for you. My Lord Carosus, my forces have just liberated your system from direct control. At this time yesterday afternoon, I was waging war on your behalf. As your liege lady, I require your loyalty and the aid of your technologists, and I expect you to provide it. What you require means nothing to me. For the last three years, your uncle has squeezed Lord Car Lord House Carosus for its labor. His directorate conscripted my house guard, looted my treasury, took my children, all because I kept loyal to House Serrano. And where were you while our sworn allies were under attack? While your people were being slaughtered, you were hiding on the damned frontier. I saw your little broadcast from Weldry. By your own admission, you left us to die. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to say nothing. We understand the hardships that you have suffered, sir. But from this point forward, you will show me the respect I am due. Your own son was released from captivity by my hand. I fought and bled to set him free. You saved my auto, yes, but he isn't the man I remember anymore. The prison administrators on Weldry did something to his mind. And my daughter, Lena. She supported you, you know. Even after you abandoned us to our fate, she refused to break faith with you. She sang your praises to all who would listen, until the directorate made an example of her. Lena was barely 20 years old when she died in your name. My fealty to your cause died with her. And so if you want my help, you will compensate me for it. You have a job for my technologist, and I have a job for your mercenaries. We'll trade service for service, or you'll leave here with nothing. 
I'm so sorry, Lord Croesus. I didn't know. As a member of the Founding Council of the Oregon Coalition, you're entitled to my help, and you shall have it. My mercenaries will assist you with whatever you need, and I will oversee the task personally. You have my word. Go on then, to Anvelt, this planet's first moon. There's a ship, the Newgrange, that needs to be dealt with. My people will send you the details. Now please, go. Leave me to attend to my son. They had way more munitions down there, Commander, and there's a warehouse full of busted up dragons. I'm not going to tell you that the dragon's a good mech, but it's big and can carry a lot of guns. If you bring them on board, I'll get them working. Look in the shop for them. So basically, with that is, if you hadn't been grinding and building up your mech storehouse, uh, they're giving you a way to at least get dragons to replace the spider and other shitty mechs you might have. Like the, the blackjack, actually. It would be a better mech than the blackjack. Uh, so we could do that, but we're so fucked up. We are not doing it. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> we're out for like two weeks. Yeah, we got, we got fucked up. <laughs> Actually, let's go to the hiring hall. Let's see if there are any good, uh, any good. Okay, no good pilots. All right, let's go to the store. Let's see if there's some good shit here. Uh, actually, there's a good AC-2. Uh, there actually is a good AC-10. Although, hmm, I actually do like the good plus two AC-10 on that. We could put that on the Centurion. Yeah, well, all right. It's at least better than what we've got. We'll buy that. New weapon systems available. This does do better stability damage as better crit. I do like the better chance to hit, though. I do like the better chance to hit, especially since Behemoth tends to miss with the fucking thing all the time. Yeah, let's take the better chance to hit. New weapon systems available. Ooh, an ultra auto cannon too. That's actually a surprise that there's an ultra auto cannon here, but all right, we'll we'll skip on that. Uh, I think we'll pass on the AC fives. And that's that's a nice mech, the Stalker. That is a very nice mech. Hello, kitty kitty. Okay. So I don't think we got anything worth selling. We did not. Sorry. So now we go to the mech bay. And wow. Yep. So there's a there's a human being. So here are a couple of our mech techs. And here's the actual size comparison of the mech that we're actually in and all the people in here. So yeah, let's uh let's refit. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. So yeah, we're gonna replace. Now we'll put on the good medium laser. <laughs> and now we'll put on that one. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll do the better plus five damage. I'd rather have the plus damage than uh, than that. So let's do that. Let's put on a better AC 20. We'll at least have a better crit chance with it. Because uh, we do breach armor fairly often with it. And that will help us get those, get those critical hits. Really isn't store again there really isn't yeah there really isn't that's amazing all right um i'm surprised we're not getting cockpit mods yet that's it is kind of a surprise but all right whatever um all right so that'll, that'll only take eight days that's actually not too shabby we will do actually i could put oh well, okay there's an interesting choice i could put an er medium laser on this guy I just don't like the idea of putting an ER medium laser on something like this that isn't really tanky enough to really protect it. I feel like I'm just begging for that component to get blown off. I'm I'm going to keep that for now. On it. So that's a nice upgrade. Going. We're going to refit this. Yeah, replace, repair, replace. <laughs> now we're going to remove the AC2. And uh, let's remove the medium laser. We lost it anyway. Uh, yeah, we're just going to put on two standard large lasers just in case these get blown off anyway. And now we're going to put... We're going to put small lasers back on these guys. Although we're at... We're still down 40 tons, right? Because these are so much lighter. Uh, right, so now we can boost our ammo or armor again oh you know what it just occurred to me when we did this that this added armor in like the wrong locations so that was bad obviously great let's add armor back on this guy 
Let's actually just add a shit ton of armor. First things first. Add armor. Armor, armor, armor. We like armor. Just max out the armor. Uh, hi, cat. I love you, cat. <laughs> Clea is being distracting. Uh, and then we'll add two heat sinks. Perfect. Okay. So now our blackjack is much more survivable uh, from a durability standpoint. Um, now it's got 920 armor. It's got more freaking armor than our centurion does. So that will help. And we could still put out a decent amount of firepower on it. And it's got better, slightly better heat management. Well, it'll generate more heat now because we substituted two of those medium lasers for large lasers. But still, that'll take, that'll take some time. But now our blackjack is back up and running. Shouldn't be All right, so we refit. Yep, repair, 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 replace, replace. Okay, so uh, let's replace that AC-10 with a better AC-10. Let's place our LRM-10 over here. LRM ammo, let's put LRM ammo back in there. We're good to go. And just like that, our Centurion is repaired. It's going to take 11 days, but all in all, not too bad. We racked up a shit ton of repair costs, though. Like, we're basically averaging 150... I think we're... Because the, uh, the Blackjack was also like 180,000 or something like that. This is 142. I think the uh, Victor was only 80,000. But we've got a lot in repair bills. Fortunately, we've got the money for it. And we made a million off that mission. So we're still... We still made money off of that mission. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And you, we just repair. Yep, you take two days. Okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, we have a month before all of our mechs are properly repaired, even though we're going to get our pilots back reasonably fast. Uh, we can actually manage the tasks. So the archer will get back faster. Uh, all right, and then the blackjack and the centurion are going to take the same amount of time. So let's see. All right. So, I mean, by the time we get our, our guys back, we actually would be able to field a lance. We could do missions in our next location. So let's, well, let's try that. Let's go to, actually, let's go to ship upgrades because we completed a ship upgrade. We could get the second mech bay. Although I don't feel comfortable spending the better part of a million to get that second mech bay yet. That's, uh, that's terrifying. Let's do the drive. Let's do the drive system now. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Perfect. And just like that, we're going to go to the star map. As we wind down here, let us go to Herodotus and see if we could pick up our last, uh, our last Marauder salvage. That would be nice. And if not, uh, if not Herodotus, we could always wander over to Lyriton and some of the other places and see if we could pick up a Marauder. By your command. But either way, we, we're going to be twiddling our thumbs while our, well, half of our, yeah, literally half our pilots are in the mech bay and half of our mechs are, are in the mech, uh, uh, are in the mech bay and, or rather, and half our pilots are in the med bay. So we can't do anything. We may as well go to a new star system and hope for the ability to buy a Marauder. I think we're only one mech salvage away from a Marauder. Once we're actually in system, I'll check. I am pretty sure that's that's our situation. Once we get more money, too, I could take more risks. Like, I could buy Warhammer Salvage. Because a Warhammer is a really nice mech to have, too. I do prefer the Marauder to the Warhammer, but either one is a great, is a fantastic... Uh, mech in this game. And even without the heavy metal DLC, you still get both the Marauder and the Warhammer and the uh, Lance command mod and the um, optimized capacitors those upgrades for both those for mechs. So that's pretty cool commander. that even with that DLC... Let me just check. Mech bays. I go over to components. No, it doesn't do that. I feel like somewhere in here I could check to see where... Yep, I've got two parts of a Marauder. Uh, I don't have any Warhammer parts yet. Yeah, I don't have any Warhammer parts yet. But, uh, 
Actually, I do have parts of a Victor because like, we pieced that together. So we got one 3D and we've got two 3Rs. And the 3R is the more common one. So it'd be nice to pick that up. A dragon, like, who gives a shit? Uh, even the griffin's not too bad, but, but a marauder would be really nice to piece together here. Oh, while I'm at it, actually, uh, my warriors. Let's do XP. Uh, yeah, the tabletop games, I, I always made, I, the marauders are awesome. Uh, yeah, always made them. They're, they're great. Um, they're, they're a classic mech. Standing by. And of course, tabletop, there's a little bit of cross-pollination in that, uh, the marauder was, uh, was sort of a, I think the, the Marauder was a Macross design, uh, or at least it, it looks like a Macross design. I don't know if it really was or not, but it, uh, but it certainly looked Amanda. enough like it where it was a concern. Ah, here we go. All right, so do I have her be an ace pilot or do I have her do the whole coolant vent thing? You know what? I'm going to have her be my ace pilot. Training complete. And then I'll have somebody else be a gladiator. I don't really think the coolant vent is that great of a, uh, yep, the one I'm across was a bit different, but I mean, it, it, it did look like it. And the rifleman also looked like a, a Macross mech a lot, except the, the Macross one had the big radar dish at the very top. Uh, whereas the Battletech one did not have the radar dish, but other than that, it, it almost looks exactly the same. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we kind of, we try not to talk about the cross-pollination because of the Harmony Gold lawsuits and everything else, but... <laughs> the tabletop game was so much fun to play, especially doing the integration with the RPG. Uh, so Battletech was the table t was just the standard tabletop game, and then MechWarrior was the RPG rules. And I think Nade uh, sent me a Facebook board. message about the new Battletech rules, and I'm like, man... That is so tempting, because that was really fun to play. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. All right, so here's the problem. Even if there is a Marauder, which there isn't, motherfuckers. They gotta play games with us and not give it to us, are they? All right, but you know what? We could buy another LRM-20, and then the Archer will have two LRM-20s. So that is worth our time. Uh, not necessarily tonight, but... Let's take a look at contracts. Hopefully there's some missions we could do to actually make some money because I don't want to be spending that on an LRM-20. Good. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. Titan attack. You defend a base and they send an assault mech after you. It's awesome. Uh, the original Battletech mechanism were used in Robotech. Oh, huh. That is interesting. I didn't, I would never have guessed that, actually. That's, also Robotech was made before, yeah, and I knew, yeah, Robotech was definitely before Battletech. Um, but it's interesting that the Battletech mechanism was used before Robotech. Uh, that is interesting. Huh. Now, the Robotech RPG sucks. That, that game was terrible. Um, shit, man, I kind of, so this is also... What this this target acquisition mission? This is good for like those really fast pilots. Actually, could put Behemoth in something like. Uh, so it's really good is if you have like the Phoenix Hawk, um, and not the K design, the one that jumps, and you use that for these tag target acquisition missions. I think we would fail that because our our mechs are are just too slow. We don't have anything that would actually make it there in time. Um, but these are the missions I was talking about that would be good for Decker and all that. Um, the designs are the same. They're both their own thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Obvious. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, so yeah, we got, we have some fun, uh, we got some fun missions. So, uh, so I don't know. I mean, it is a little late, although I am wide awake. I could totally do another of these missions, but, uh, but I feel like most of my audience, uh, goes to bed around now. So I, <laughs> And the problem is also, like anything else, I do have work in the morning, so I'm like, mm, maybe I should call it quits now and get some sleep, because what I don't want to do is be like, yeah, just one more mission. Then I look over at the clock and it's like 1 a.m. Like, oh, fuck, why did I do this to myself? I'm so stupid. Because <laughs> that's never happened. I'm, that's not, that is totally not a hypothetical. That may as well have been a, like, a repeat of, 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 of a Seraph reacting to myself playing a game. This game, by the way, 
Uh, actually, this game and MechWarrior 5 are... I'm totally guilty of that. I'm just like, eh, just one more mission. Um, although not as bad as like... <laughs> yeah, that's rookie numbers. It is rookie numbers. It's so easy to do. Um, yeah, like... Uh, like when I'm uh, when I'm on vacation, I will easily just be up to like three or four in the morning uh, playing games. And it's like not a big deal. And then I go to sleep and I'm, I wake up at like nine or ten and I'm fine. The problem is I can't do that when I'm at work because I can't show up at work at like, you know, nine or ten o'clock. <laughs> my, my workplace is pretty cool, but they're not that cool. <laughs> oh, man, but Ghosty knows what's up. Yeah, late night gaming. Oh yeah, that's that's fun. We could easily do that. But we got some good warm up missions that we'll do next time, and then we'll cruise over once we've got our mechs repaired. Maybe we can piece together a Marauder. Um, but if we can, we can. If we can't, we can't. Not the end of the world. Uh, and then we'll do that mission for Lord Karasas, where we uh, interdict the dropship Newgrange and we say what we got going on. You don't want to look haggard, right? Right. You don't want to look haggard going in. Don't want people looking like. Uh, Sarah, for you hung over and you're like, uh, I'm just a half asleep. I'll wake up in a bit. <laughs> um, but no, I, I handle uh, lack of sleep pretty well most of the time. Oh, you know what? I should actually talk to these guys. It is pretty fun to talk to them, but, um, but we're not going to do that. We'll do that. We'll probably try and do that at the beginning of the next stream. So let's quit. Uh, but I am awake. So if somebody's up, we could totally raid somebody and see what's up. So let's do that. Let's quit and let's get ready to fire things down here. Let's go into our nice little ending stream meal. Uh, but I want to thank everybody who came out. We had a good time. Uh, despite the fact that it looked like a shit show, that actually is a fairly decent smithing showing. <laughs> it really is, I promise. Um, oh, Kai's streaming again. It's funny how often Kai's on. I don't always want to... I don't always want to raid out to Kai, but... Um, he's really the only one that's on, so, uh, so yeah, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna be who we stream, who we raid out to here. Um, it looks like he's playing, uh, Legend of Heroes again. Yep, he is. So that's, that is cool. That is a great game. I, he's gotta be pretty far on that right now. Um, I would imagine he's, he's getting there with that. So let's see. Let us raid Kai, and we're getting ready here. So, uh, yeah, all right, so it's time to sign out here. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I already said that part. But um, I'll be streaming again Sunday night, and we're going to wrap up um, the rest of that kind of recap with um, with Battletech, level up our pilots a little bit more, get our stable of mechs back in order, do a couple of warm-ups, and then we'll do the new Grange mission, which, um, like I said, is usually not as much of a crazy fest as the Smithen mission. That Smithen mission is brutal it's it's always kind of this brutal uh pretty challenging mission it's fun in the sense that it is a challenge but you've got the desert environment you've got the heat and it's always kind of uh kind of kind of it is what it is um and if you find me on youtube because of the smith and mission uh feel free to join me live on on twitch uh at uh, twitch.tv slash resplendent i'll try and put the um the description in the comment or uh put the link in the description but youtube still is in that phase of You've had an account for years, uh, but we still don't uh, really know if you're a real person or not. So we're not going to let you put uh, links in the uh, description. So that's that's super awesome. Uh, that's always fun uh, dealing with the various ramifications of other people having bots. And it's like, oh, well, this is why we can't have nice things. So in any event, everybody, I want to hope you have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Ciao.